Yo, I put it like wow, this that sound These oaks don't work hard like me, I hope they know by now Bam, bam, stand my ground Throw these money trees, go overseas like Percy Tao I'll make sure you stay around, quiet when I'm under loud No nigga this allowed me, positivity took a vow I always play to win, don't anticipate loss Mind always in the clown, my boy Never think about the drop, never ever ever think about the drop Welcome to sports fans. It is the MKT show watch along and it is money time. Algeria take on Cote d'Ivoire. It's been a disaster of the tournament actually for both of these two. And um, I'm really interested to see what happens today because does Riyad Mahrez just want to go back to Manchester City where it's nice and easy because he can just pass the ball to Bernardo Silva and relax on the right wing? Or is he here for Algeria if you're up north? Uh, what are you thinking? Because Cote d'Ivoire won't be easy. It is crucial for both teams to win uh, because the last thing you want is to be coming second if you're Cote d'Ivoire. And for Algeria, if they lose, anything lost, anything less than a victory, not good enough for them. And it'll be au um to the Algerians. Of course, the Desert Foxes will be headed, headed back to England. I'm not alone, as always. I'm with... Um... Look, he's my mate, so I have to throw this out there. He's... A handsome man from the West Rand, and he is looking for a date. And oh. he doesn't like it when I say it, but oh. I'm, tr I'm trying to set my guy up. And, um, you know, his name's Ryan James Tinline. Mr. Tinline, what you say? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let this stuff go. Let what go? What, what do you mean? The, the people are watching. They're interested. Yeah, yeah, no. It's just, if you, if you are a frequent listener to the show beforehand, which I just want to point out, by the way, before starting, Katie. Sure. We are very much live. Yes. Right now, I don't know how we can. How can we prove that? How 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 can we prove that we are live? Um, we could we could. Well, how would you prove being live? There we go. Maybe let's start. With oh, you. Yeah, all I'm going to say is just send through your comments and 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 your likes and and whatever. And you know, we are going to be talking about football in the Afcon 2021. And tonight, of course, is Ivory Coast and Algeria. Yeah. So anything you have to say, we can read it out and let's discuss it. So do get involved. I just want to point out, uh, you know, if you're a regular listener to the show, MKT keeps reverting himself onto me, as pointed out by a friend of his, by saying that I that I'm looking for a date. No, that's uh, that's totally him. I mean, you should see what he's wearing today. Just have a look at that shirt. Okay, I mean, so and and, and he got dressed in that five minutes before we just came online. Just by the way. Well, it's called, uh, we're, uh, we're on set, you know what I mean? We're, we're on set, at least I'm trying, because our, our viewers and our listeners, they, they deserve the best. They, Ryan, you just came in, a, in the same one. But anyway, look, the truth is, Ryan is looking for a date, but because he's such a nice guy, he doesn't actually ever um, just do what he wants. And uh, we, will be, we will be joined by somebody else. Oh, he has a raft. My mates arrived. So we, there's going to be a few of us. Um, I'm MKT, by the way. And this watch along business, this is so much fun, uh, by the way. Hey, Ryan, it is. Hold on, wait, MKT. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put you up here and, and just strap you real quick. I'm gonna strap your name on the screen. Oh, so people just so can people see. know who I am. You know, yeah, put, look, put some respect on my name. Look, you know how, what I'm look how good you look with that strap on. I mean, can't really. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, uh, I'm going home. Okay. Clearly, this is where the show is uh, going. Is <laughs> just, just, just you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. Uh, Take this off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's take that off. Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we're at the Japoma Stadium in Douala uh, today, Cote d'Ivoire, um, Algeria. What a game this is going to be! The voice you heard just now is not a white guy. It's actually. Um, <laughs> it's your mom's favorite yellow bone. It is your mom's favorite yellow, yeah, yellow bone, aka Pizzas Christ. Uh, there we go. Poor Mukhale. What's happening, Pizzi? Yeah, good. Glad to be here to watch such a. Like again, it's gonna be a crack, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, no, it, it should be what. Um, um, you guys should know I did put some money on Cote d'Ivoire. Okay, oh, let's go. We got let's some go. money in the Easy, house. Back on the money. But, but uh, I went a little big. I went a little big. What are you talking? I put uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. And I put Equatorial Guinea to win today. How much? Uh, oh, and Mali, and Mali as well. But, but Mali's playing Mauritania at nine, so that's quite a quite a decent game. 
I know I can get something out of it. Okay, so walk us through it. Peasy. Okay, let's start with the Sierra Leone Equatorial Guinea. What did we go uh, with? If you don't mind, listen, gentlemen, if anyone else has put money on these games, please send us through who you've put your money on. Or if you want to talk just yeah. like who, who you're putting your money on in general, yeah. then sure. But if you put money on, let us know. So I did a, I did a multi-bet today. Okay. Yeah. So obviously boosting my odds <laughs> if, if, all, if all three things happen. So yeah. I'm pretty comfortable with like, Mari, Mali, Mauritania. Yep. I mean, what happens in Mauritania? Yeah, I don't really. Uh, if don't you really are from know, Mauritania, yeah, I don't really know what goes on. Are okay. you like Mauritius and the Comores? Are you are you like a holiday resort? What happens in Mauritania? Or, or do you guys eat yams like my friends from Cote d'Ivoire and uh, Ghana? Or what, what, what Mauritania? Please tell us what you're about. Uh, so did you bet on Mauritania or Mali? Or, uh, on, on Mali. Look, in Mauritania. I don't. I mean, they're coming last in their group. I don't see them beating beating Mali. No. Um, then, yeah, I said Equatorial Guinea was going to edge it. I said, you know, Equatorial Guinea for the win. Yeah. I think it's going to be a close one, but they're going to win. And then I put my money on Cote d'Ivoire. I just think that Algeria uh, aren't, aren't ready. Algeria, yes, they may be angry because of where they are in the yeah. group, yeah. but Cote d'Ivoire is, is hacked about... The fact that they drew 2 2. Did you see the goalkeeping mistake that cost yeah, them? That horrendous, that horrendous thing. Did and he fake the injury? Keeping, yeah? yeah. Yeah. So I I think it could have was. They're, they're coming out hot today. They're going to make sure they come first. All right. If you're from Cote d'Ivoire, uh, how are you feeling about your team? Because Mpizi has got how much? Uh, so I put 100 bucks down on all of it to go through. If all goes through, I win 1 0 2 3. 10 X? Yeah, but all three have to go my way. Okay, so let's just clarify it for those that are just arriving. Peasy, not a white guy, not a white oak, just Peasy. He's just <laughs> Paul McGarley. Um, so Ivory Coast, we're going Ivory Coast for the win. Yeah. Sierra Leone, we're going Equatorial Guinea for the win. Yeah, boy. And then Sierra, Le uh, uh, sorry, um, Mali, Mauritania, Mali for the win. 100%. So we need all three to win. We can't have draws. We can't have... You know, uh, VAR, we kind yeah. of guys getting heat stroke and blowing the whistle early. 90, 90 minutes, one winner. That's it. Yeah. Ryan, what are you feeling about my man's uh, betting betting patterns here? I'm loving it. You reckon? You oh, uh, bro. One, I've, I never ever have time to put money on these games. That's because you, you graft it, but... Yeah, well, I mean... No, like, you do a quick... If you can do a quick money ball... So, <laughs> yo, that's that's the thing. So you you know, easy and uh, easy money. Yeah, no, it mean? is. It is like especially especially with these multi bets. Yeah. Um, you you do these multi bets like uh, FA Cup round where all the Premier League teams join because you know they're gonna they're gonna pick up a W. Some of them won't. Sure. But you know which of those fishy games you leave them out, and you say okay, these six teams are gonna win. All those six teams win. Good odds for you. Fantastic. All right, permutations here. Group E, um, a win for Cote d'Ivoire and a draw in the other game will see them finish as group winners. All right. I mean, basically, if Ivory Coast win. Yeah. I don't know why they need the other wording, because if they win, the most Equatorial Guinea can get to is six. Yeah. So I don't know why they needed the extra letters. Is that because is there a sponsor that needs this ticker on for extra time? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I what are we doing here? Everyone's eating in this thing. For Algeria to finish in the top two, they need to defeat Cote d'Ivoire and Sierra Leone must defeat Equatorial Guinea. So easy there. They, they, so basically, Equatorial Guinea must lose and um, for, that's for Algeria to go through. Equatorial Guinea draw, Algeria au revoir. Yeah. Even if they win, by the way. Oh, yes, yes. Even yeah. if they win. Yeah, because so, Equatorial Guinea beat them. Remember? So now they know how it feels to support the fight of the fight. <laughs> When, you, when you're doing math calculations in your head, you're like, okay, so if SA has eight corners and then the opposition has six, then we'll go through. Now they know how it feels. It's, 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 it's a terrible feel. I've got to say, Carol Manana, um, for those of you not watching in Africa on the Supersport um, feed, is that she's the only person who's got it right, where she's, she's obviously kind of like me. Obviously, I've taken it to the final level with my shirts. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, nobody's got uh, my swag in terms of the, the, the Africa game. But she's got the perfect mix of, I'm doing a little bit of like Wakanda African mm. and the European vibe. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they can't say she's doing too much. She's looking sleek. 
but there's also a touch of like okay exotic you know yeah I mean? exotic yeah yeah so so shout out to Carol Manana Oaks Carol Manana that's a great finish that by the way that oh, yeah. Yeah. is yeah. a great finish uh, Ryan a few people here oh oh Ryan uh, I've got some news for you pal yes three ladies um Adora um Adora Bletty uh, says I am available to go. Oh yeah, no, that's that's a different thing. That's a different thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm busy trying to get rid of that. <laughs> What's the story? Yeah, is, no, is it, no, yeah. no, I'm intrigued. Yeah, right, now you've got everyone intrigued. When, no, it's a... Uh, is that, that a scam? Something about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's something on TikTok when it comes to... Um, uh, I don't know how people grow their accounts, but there's this thing where you... Remember... Like it's a grow hacker. Yeah, yeah, like a grow hacker. Oh, it's called grow hacking. So, uh, but Gekana256 says, I am available. Is it, I think these people are saying they're available to go on a date with you, right? No, I don't think so. Well, why don't you think that? She, uh, Joycey, says, I am available. Well, uh, no, it's, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all good. You know what I mean? Well, no, I don't know what you mean. Oh, PZ, you missed this. I'm, I'm no, busy. I just heard date when I was outside. Yeah, so Ryan's basically keen to find a date. Okay. Okay, so all of these episodes have just been leading up to this, basically. What he must do on the first date and all of that stuff. Now it's leading up to, essentially, Ryan going on a date and finding someone. Yeah, you know, MKT won't let this go. Even though his um his own friend said that it's actually him and he's just reverting on me. Yeah, it's, it's but, it's actually, but I mean, look at the strip he's wearing today, I'm peasy. No, look, I, I, I didn't know that uh, dashikis, etc. were mandatory on the show. Uh, I, would, I would have brought my own. Um, but yeah, no, I do dig it. I do dig it. But it's uh, like your, your fourth, third or your fourth time here. What are you talking about? No, but the first time I was here, he didn't wear a dashiki. No, what did I wear that time? A shirt. No. No, there was a dashiki on one night, but not on another. No, because then I wore a hoodie. I wore a, the, the Japanese hoodie, yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah, think yeah, yeah. But I mean, that was just a little bit of call Asian fusion. Oh, okay. Uh, or Afrusion, as the uh, Oaks are calling it. That's African Asian yeah, fusion. Or That's Blasian. Blasian. <laughs> but well, there's no African in that. But African gin. No. Yeah, but no. Let's workshop that a bit better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I think we, we do. So, but from now on, if you do have, I mean, please, I'm busy. No, no, what I, what I actually wanted to do, I wanted to get shorts custom-made. <laughs> so, get custom-made shorts in all of these, like, kente cloths and all that stuff. Get it, get it, get it, dang, <laughs> and then you'll see me there on oh, camps, man, walking, slops, white top, and then kente cloth shorts. Nah, Incredible. Swear, it's got to be swag. So, um, there's, we've had three offers for Ryan available. Um, Adora Betty says it's hysterical that you don't find, you're not going to um, make yourself available for her, right? I mean, I, I know we're here to watch Ivory Coast Algeria, but while we're at it, let's do what we got to do. You know what I mean, right? I'm busy, man. You busy man. I told you this. So, what, you, you don't have, oh my goodness, that. You know, if you are from Ivory Coast, right now they are showing us the absolute debacle by the goalkeeper then what i like is he fakes the injury oh yeah yeah that, like that they make it injury. yeah then they, he makes them bring a stretcher like oh i'm, I'm broken no you know bro, you just embarrassed yourself and run like two billion people or yeah. how many are watching this game so you embarrassed yourself in front of everyone yeah no, it's a mess and you've embarrassed your family as well yeah. what about your mom at church I, I, we've spoken about this before if you are black we know that your mom, our moms, and church, and the pastor, it's, that's the real holy trinity, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, Every mom wants to have her son or her name mentioned in church. Every black mom just dreams of that. And that goalkeeper has just cost everyone, the whole squad. Her yeah. mom is probably now not allowed at the same church, probably had to move houses. I mean... 100%. No, I, 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 I feel for the mom, really. Not him. Not yeah. Him. The mom, now she has to deal with that. And you know, if they do mention her at church, yeah, it's not going to be nice things said about her. Not in a positive sense. And, yeah. and I mean, Didier Drogba probably saw that and he thought, this guy here. Yeah. yeah, this guy's got to go. You know, because Drogba's going to be present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Benjani Moriwari. He had a haircut. He's looking good. Carol's looking good. Her mate, she's, she, she's had about six, six hairstyles in this tournament. So 
Shout out to Carol for being a professional. Yeah, well, shout out to a hairdresser for always keeping it, keep it on fleet. <laughs> Must be Moroccan, Ryan, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, the Moroccans have to hold this uh, this bar up, you know what I mean? <laughs> they do have the best hairstyles in the league. Um, Patrice Bormel. Bormel is uh, the manager for Côte d'Ivoire. Um, now, is he... Because he looks like a white guy that that moved to Ivory Coast when he was like 15. Because there are those French guys who just never leave, you know what I mean? Like, Has he never left? Well, often Europeans come to Africa and they're just like, oh, I'm doing an exchange program. Three yeah. years later, the guy's already there, married to Tandy now. Yeah. And now, he, now and we got to, he's got to adjust to Lawala life, you know yeah, what I mean? He's got a couple of hybrids running around. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally one one lady that I know. That's literally her dad's story. Came to SA for graft. Yeah. Oak was just like, what do you mean it's hot for nine months of the year? This is amazing. <laughs> and and he's, he's just stayed here, found his, his, his wife's actually from Swaziland. Yep. Um, they, they hit it off. Yeah. And now he's got a hybrid daughter. Yeah. And now she's your mate. Uh, She's like, yo, bro, I can't believe you lied to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you are 100%. I'm only 50. <laughs> like, I'm a boss. You're full yeah. boss, bro. Uh, that's <laughs> oh, that's an excellent piece here. Now, um, is that somebody Ryan could date? Maybe Ryan? Maybe you want to talk about oh, Can you drop this narrative that I'm looking for dates, please? Uh, okay, I but, really am not. Okay, MKT, let's click. Yeah. You are dressing up. Every day we are on the show. You come in new kicks, mm, new mm, shirts. Mm, I mean, look at the shirts. I'm mm, putting the camera on you now. Mm, look mm. at that shirt. It does look good. All right, so are you categorically now dismissing anyone who might be interested in you? You're saying, don't contact me. Like, let, let's get it. Let's make it abundantly clear what your position is. Yeah. So you're not interested in anybody, no, no matter how nice, how available, how kind they may be. Not on the internet. You're no. saying, get the hell out of here. Where are you thinking you might meet somebody, right? At like a barbecue or what are we thinking? I don't know. In South Africa, we just have bras, not really barbecues. You know oh, what I mean? Same thing. I mean, you, you got, I was trying to be international. But um, so, yeah, PZ, yeah, where, where can Oak meet a guy like Ryan? Good Oak, you know. Oh, a guy like Ryan, look, Good Oak. Look, you can, you can meet, you can meet at Groove. Right? I knew. But the thing is, no. But the only problem is, and I'm going to be real here. You'll, you'll never find a wife at Groove. No, you know, no, no. Your, your wife's not sitting at Groove. Your wife, you bump into at Woolworths. That's both it. Both reaching for virgin mojitos. Be like, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, or oh, or, like or mini cucumbers, yeah. Yeah, which I'm still shocked to this day exist. Yeah. Yeah, or mini cucumbers. That's how you'll find your wife. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Ryan, there you have it. I mean, PZ is trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? You, you probably need to go to Woolworths more. Go to Woolworths. Maybe yeah, a library. Maybe. But a library, you can only chat like... Can't really so, chat too loud, yeah. yeah. You've got to be quiet. It's a library, you know. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, but it's the 21st century. We're we still doing like silent libraries. Well, what the hell's going on? Well, what are you thinking? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, like, people <laughs> still need to concentrate in 2022. Okay. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> Why do we have to be silent libraries still? What is, no, I'm uh, sure the people who were working there when I was a kid were telling me to start pretty much gone now you know what i mean i don't know what you mean well the the the, sh- the shushing yeah. transcends <laughs> tra- so tr- transcends lifetime <laughs> yeah. it's gonna stick it yeah. was libraries back in the day exactly and it's their libraries now think of it like gravity you know what i'm saying yeah no it's ever sh- constant bro. yeah so right you can't just go well, but what are you thinking just take a jam blaster to to the to the library or what like a play a little little nas while you li- while you're reading naughty or whatever's going on I mean, yeah, I read Noddy. <laughs> Have you read Noddy? Noddy is a book. I only thought it was a TV show. No, 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 no. It's jeez. What's wrong with you? Winnie the Pooh, Noddy. Winnie no, the Thomas, Pooh. Thomas the Train. Are Thomas the Tank books? Engine. Yeah. Were there books first or like series first? Thomas the Tank Engine was a book first. Yeah. Uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh is like a book from like the, I think the seventies. Oh jeez. This is unbelievable. Uh, like, again, every time I'm with all of you guys, I just I learn something new, but. Again, you guys are so young, you only ran into it on TV, yeah? Yeah, no, that's... So, but do you know X-Men was comics before? Yeah, no, okay. X-Men I know was All right, okay, okay. Yeah. I don't want that confusion, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? No, shout out to Stan B. X-Men was comics before that I knew. Um, yeah, but Winnie the Pooh and... Wait, wait, let me just confirm one thing. Toy Story was a movie first, right? I think so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah, okay, so Toy Story wasn't a book or whatever. 
No, I'd have to go read this book because... Who, who's the other guy? Wood, Woody, not Woody Allen, eh? No, Woody Allen's, no. No, that's a different person. What's the guy's name? No, the, the cowboy in the movie, yeah. his character name is Woody. But what's who, What's that actor's name? Because uh, the other guy's Tom Hanks. Buzz Lightyear's Tom Hanks. No. Is it? I don't know. No, Tom Hanks is... Isn't Tom Hanks... Woody. <laughs> Woody. Yeah. And then the other guy's the... To infinity and beyond. Yeah, that, that, Tim yeah. Allen. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Uh, yes. Right, okay. That's the you guy. didn't know that. Did you know that? Yeah. Tim Allen. That's the guy. Uh, what, was it? what was the sitcom he was on, right? Where he was the handyman next door? Oh, you guys. Home Improvement. Home Improvement. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen's on a few. I, I know him from the Santa Claus movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I absolutely yeah, no, I've, I've, I've love that. Yeah, no. I've gone past DSTV and... Christmas and see him on one of his films. The only ne- Christmas films that should be on is Die Hard. Um, but only one and two are Christmas films. The rest of them aren't based around Christmas. Shout out to Mark Say from uh, Nakatoma Plaza, obviously, in that first one. Hans Gruber, one of the greatest villains of all time. I- I'd like to know from people in the comments, what's the greatest Christmas film in the world? Now, I know we're here for football. We all know that. Yeah. We all know that Algeria are probably going home. And they're going to have to answer because... Algeria is one of the best funded programs, best, best run in Africa. Jeez. Like, you can't come back first round. Algeria haven't scored a goal, by the way, in this tournament. And they're on one point, right? They haven't, they haven't scored a single goal, these guys. Jeez. So, I mean, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm not happy about them. Uh, Riyad Mahrez, they can't go home with no goals, eh? Surely. Peter, no, we've got to give it a go surely, here. Surely they can't. Like, but I've seen them. They haven't been... Um, Firing. I mean, Mares struggled. Um, who was who is that guy? I think who was Mares before Mares Slimani. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he. <laughs> he uh, no, Algerian at Leicester. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, he, I, I know what you say. He came on. I thought he was going to do magic in the in the last game. Looks. So. What happens to that? I think they just they. they it, it's bad for them. I mean. Like, have a good game here. Yeah, maybe draw. That's not good enough. 2-2. Two, two. No, I'm just saying that I don't think they they have it in them to... If, if they play like they've been playing the past two games. All right. Uh, the starting lineups are out. Who do you guys think is going to win? Um, man, we'll talk about... Uh, what's it? Côte d'Ivoire just now. Uh, there's an interesting situation there because they didn't, they also haven't played that well. and But their team is blockbuster, dude. I look at Ivory Coast team and I think you should be beating Argentina. But let's start with uh, Algeria. Uh, Rice Mbo, Mboli uh, in goal. Uh, they're, they're going 4-2-3-1 uh, according to the starting lineups. They've got Yusuf Atal at right back. Aisa Mandi uh, is the one centre back. Uh, Abdel Kader, Abdel Kader uh, Bedrani. Uh, and then on the left, they've got Rami uh, Bensabaini as the left back. Uh, in the holding mid, Ramiz Zeku- Zeruki and Ishmael Banaka. And then the three behind the front man will be Mohamed Yusuf Belali and then Saeed Ben Rama. Of course, we know him. Uh, he's, uh, he's megastar. Hey? He's West Ham, mm. yeah, West Ham playmaker. And then Riyad Mahrez on the right. And then up, up front, Baghdad uh, Buendia. So Buendia, of course, as well. Of Premier League fame. So, that, listen, that's, they're so loaded there. They are so loaded. I mean, that front three in Ben Rama, uh, Mares and Buendia, come on, Oaks. Do something. Yeah, no, Oaks should be scoring, should be pumping Sierra Leone five. No, this is not good enough. And then they can bring uh, your mate off the bench that you said, uh, oh, Eric Bay has been dropped, by the way. We'll get to that. Um, but, but... No, is he not on the bench? Well, the the oh Suleimani. No, he is on the bench. Yeah. Islam Suleimani will be on the bench. So they've got some firepower there. This is this is not good. How have you not scored one goal with all this with all this firepower? No, the coach, fire the coach. You got to fire the coach. Oh yeah, no, he, I think he's done after this. If yeah. if the coach, no, but you see, the problem is, and people tend to forget it. This this year's a World Cup, yeah. You can't just be firing Willy. You can't have that Chelsea you, behavior. You've got you've got time. You've got time because the World Cup's in December. Yeah, yeah. It's not in it's not in June. So 
that would be a panic if you sack him now. You got Feb, March, April, May to get a team together. Four mm. months to get a team that can compete at the World Cup. Sure. Now you've got longer, but it's still just a panic. I mean, no, you can't fire. You, you see, the thing is, he qualified with specific vision in mind. Going to have gone with a specific vision in mind. Then you get rid of him. And now he must go play a World Cup. Nah. Smart. That's smart what you're saying. That's big time uh, punditry there. Uh, Jamel Belmadi is the guy. Frenchman. 45 years old. But he looks a lot older than 45. I don't know what the lifestyle maybe of coaching superstars in Algeria is affecting. He, he could be 66. He, he doesn't look very young. I don't know what his skin routine is. Maybe maybe a bit of sunscreen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a little sunscreen every day. And you look youthful. Right? <laughs> my my boot looks like he matriculated two years ago. He's six years older than me. So what is what is the story with your brother as um wow, Alexi Wobi is dribbling with a pangolin right now, or a pangolin. <laughs> Uh, doing ball skills on the screen with a pangolin. Maybe um, Alex Iwobi should be focusing on playing with human beings because yeah. he's not very good at that. And the pangolin's actually... A little bit look, better than him. Yeah, the pangolin's looking like it'll actually start. Yeah. No, no, no. No, offense to Iwobi. No. I think it's been lackluster since he left Arsenal. What happened? But I've told you, it. I'm going to say it one last time. The dreads. the dreads are too low. Your dreads have to be above shoulder level if you're playing football. And if you like, I uh, uh, lose say the other night, that's why they lost or, or aren't playing well for Senegal. Your manager can't have dreads that are touching his shoulder. If he's going to have dreads above shoulder and if you're going to play above shoulder, otherwise you're like Alex Iwobi, a pangolin's better than you at football. And, you know, it's not a world I want to live in. No, look, I'd, I'd like to test your, your, your theory with a bigger sample. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, go to FA, ask for, can I get data sheets with all players that have dreads? They give me one, and yeah. from there, uh, yeah, we can actually test this theory to see. Deli Ali, I mean, what happens since he got those dreads? Oh, uh, yeah, no, but he is playing average, and his dreads are terrible. They at are least, terrible. At least Iwobi is, like, respectable. No, 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 it's touching his, I'm telling you, above shoulder. They can't, mm. if your dreads are touching your shoulder, that's for the club. Mm. It's not for football. Wrong club. I, it's easy to confuse. Maybe in, you know when you're reading it, it's like, oh, these dreads for the club. And he's thinking, oh, what, for Everton? Yeah, no, for no, no, Everton. no. That's no, for no. The, to get lit, yeah. So, wrong club. I don't like it. I don't know what people think. Alex Iwobi, uh, if you're Nigerian, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Cote d'Ivoire take on Ivory Coast. That is going to be some game. Let's look at the Ivory Coast lineup. Um, you know what? In life, you can have too much of a good thing. Because I've told people this before, right? Mm. Is... And Ryan, you, I think it was you that said I was wrong. Was it, I like ice cream, but I can't eat ice cream for breakfast. You can have too much of a good thing. Do you know what I'm saying, Ryan? Uh, like I said, it all just, it's, it's, ma- it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> <laughs> My point was, you, you can have too much of a good thing. And I think, um, oh, sh- surprise, surprise. Uh, Badra Ali Sangare is just fine. And starting in Gulf Ivory Coast. Uh, after a career-ending injury where he had to go off. Stretching. Yeah, straight. Uh, uh, yeah. But he's, 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 he's good now. Duh. So, what was that? Three days ago? Yeah, yeah. Three days ago. And what looked like a dislocated shoulder then. Bro, and I mean, this is this is either bad coaching or the man's faking. Because <laughs> if you were taken off of the stretcher yeah. and your coach says three days later, bro, go jam. You know, it, it, it's bad coaching. But yeah, no, he was definitely just a bit embarrassed. Yeah. I you know what I mean? I think so, bro. It's a bit embarrassing, Ryan. I don't know if you saw that. Where the oak... So that was the 93rd minute, Ryan, where that keeper messed up. Oh, his his name is Badra Ali Sangare. Mm. So, <sighs> sad. All right, but he's back. So shout out to him, miraculously coming back. What do we think about this part of life? And maybe it's because we, we only see him in the Premier League. Mm. Serge Aurier is the captain of the Ivory Coast. Is that something we want to discuss quickly? And of course, he's the second scariest man in Premier League. <laughs> Behind? Rudiger. <laughs> Rudiger does not care about anyone. Does not care about anyone. I swear to God. If he, if Tuchel said, fight me as a joke, Rudiger would fight. Wait, hold on. You just said Tuchel. No, I'm just saying, yeah, Thomas Tuchel. No, man. Well, go ahead, Ryan. We'll, we'll see what's your problem with him saying Thomas no, Tuchel. Isn't that Tuchel? Uh, Tuchel, schedule, schedule. Uh, 
Mpizi, come on. No, man. look, 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 look. Oh, come man. on. Jesus, in, in, in my defense, and my, my book even said this to me once, uh, because he pronounced he pronounced some, some footballer's name wrong, and I, I corrected it. And then he was like, bro, I'll say that guy's name properly when he says Mokhale properly. So, <laughs> the day Thomas Tuchel says, Mpol, Mokhale. Yes. 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 Then I'll say, Tuchel, 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 yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For now, it's too short. Quid pro quo, if yeah, you will. Yeah. No, sure, sure. But Ryan, you're not happy about him saying too short, eh? No, it's just, it's proving the point more and more you come from St. David's. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Well, well yeah, please, please. Huh? What does that mean? No, you got this, you know, you got this, uh, this whole thing going here. What's so, it? Like, like what Senzo has. Which is what? So, he's got this, like... How does one describe it? Yeah, you tell me. It's a very, uh, it's it's what w- one of the viewers said the other night. So it's got Gravitas. the huh? Gravitas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's call it that. Okay. No, right. sorry. I just want to point out that m- maybe I'm saying it wrong. You know what I mean? No, I don't really want to get involved in whatever you guys have going. You know what I mean, Ryan? Is you in the middle of trying to get a date, and now I'm PZ saying too hold too short. It's a it's a whole mess. You, you know what I mean? And I, I've got my own stuff going on. I just want to be here to watch the game. You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. you guys got going on. Serge Aurier as the captain is hilarious. I'm sorry. He's probably the 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 most unfit, like based on what he does in Premier League, yeah. like unfit person to be a captain. Like he's a gun for hire. That's what I... <laughs> he, will, he, he takes Oaks out. He's, he's, how do you expect the person you can least control to control the team? That's what I'm saying. Unless because he's... So uncontrollable, other guys fall in line. I know what you mean, like uh, like he's le- leading a horde of barbarians into war, kind of. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but so I they mean, put the craziest one in front. I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you, like Leonidas vibes. Shout out three hundred. Yes, yeah. Shout out three hundred. All right. I mean, what we've seen in the Premier League, I don't. If you if you're from uh, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Serge Aurier as your captain, yes or no? Because I'm wow, I'm torn. I am torn. Um, in at centre back, uh, Odilon. Now, I don't know if this is right, but uh, Odilon Cosino is wearing number seven at centre-back. What do we feel about that? That's weird. I don't like it. It was like when Gallas wore 10 for Arsenal. Remember that? Oh, yeah. It, yes, sir. Look, I I understand that maybe numbers were running out. You give him like 32 or something. <laughs> That's what I'm don't, saying. Don't give him seven. No, like. you, you don't do that. That's for a star player somewhere in the middle. You know yeah, what I mean? Someone who does something like Riyad Morris has sent. That's it. Yeah, and then you go and give seven to a centre back. No, no good. All right, uh, Simon, uh, Simon, oh, excuse me, Simon Deli, uh, and then just Conan at left back. Just Conan. Mm. Uh, not the barbarian. I mean, I'm not implying that, but his name's Conan. Uh, in midfield, Ibrahim Sangare. Uh, and then, of course, the brilliant Jean Michel uh, Seri um, with the superstar. Number eight box to box tank that is Frank Kessie. Now he's under pressure. Remember, he missed the penalty in the last game uh, mm-hmm. that would have sent them 2 0 up. Yeah, and it was a shocker. He tried to do the casual, like, Jorginho vibes. Oh, geez. Yeah, and then he sent it right, but it was just, it was a whole mess. It was, it was ugly. Yeah, no, I think taking a penalty can't be casual about it. No. I mean, I remember Hazard used to step up, not even jog. Bang it. Yeah. He bangs it into the side netting and he turns around because he knows. <laughs> he knows what time it is. Yeah. That's what you should do with penalties. The stuff of... Like, remember when Bruno used to do the little... Yeah, the Jorginho, uh, Jorginho vibes. Yeah, Jorginho does it. Neymar does it. It's, it's, it's terrible. It is like, terrible. Like, ew, what does that do to your balance and all of that stuff? Like, guys. I don't like it. No, I don't no, like neither, it. Neither. If you're not Jorginho, don't do it. I mean, Jorginho, whew, that guy's risky FC. Um, and up front, the front three, Max, Alain, Gradel, uh, of course, tricky, pacey, powerful winger. On the other side, Nicola, Nicola Pepe, uh, breaking news, no Wilfred Zaha in the starting lineup. Uh, boy, oh boy. We will find out, of course, as news breaks. If you are at home, that news for us has just broken. That no uh, Zaha in the starting lineup. Up front, the brilliant... Champions League uh, leading goal scorer in in Europe, Sebastian Allaire. That's the guy. I'm trying to do like a 
more French pronunciation. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, okay. yeah. So I don't know how that's working out, but I am trying it. Wilfred Zaha is on the bench according to live score, which is the, obviously what the OGs use to look at football score. So good lineups all around. Zaha was wasteful last game, but he's X Factor. Maybe maybe the coach is thinking, I'll bring you off the bench with 20 to go when they're tired and then you yeah. go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? You go, you go shout it out. Or he says, in case, well, because Ivory Coast are pretty much through it. Mm. All right, let's have a look here. Let's, let's look at the reality. Yeah. You know what I mean? You look at the real picture. Please is a, a CA, a chartered accountant. Um, yeah, they are basically through. Yeah. Because if Equatorial Guinea win, Ivory Coast lose, they come second. If Sierra Leone wins, yeah, so they're through. Okay, they're through. so Ivory Coast is through. It's more of a just where they are. If, let's say they're already through, you'd rather save Wilfred Zaha for next week, bring him on also just for a bit of a run, just to, because like you said, he is the X factor. Although having said that, hold on, pump the brakes. If Algeria beat them, they'll join them on four points. Oh, it goes head to head. Yes, it goes head to head. Oh, snap. And if Equatorial Guinea win, then it's the lottery of being third Ooh. for Côte d'Ivoire. And you don't want that. No, you don't. Third plays good teams. And just, just on that, um, that uh, I think one of the thirds plays Nigeria do they? or something like that. Just on that third place lottery or whatever. They say it's like for the best place loser. loser. Yeah, best place loser. But like so many of these cats are on four points. Yeah, yeah. So. No, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a wild ride out what, there. What happens next? That's, well, I mean, you're asking all of the good questions here, MPZ. It's a, I don't know what this, it's too much now. So, so but what's the vibe? Is it because of um, just like money? Like, how, why do we need more games? Is, is just, just two teams through. What happened to that, to those good old days? We got straight to quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's money. Um, I also think that, Look, these countries are starting to, because AFCON's more regular and stuff like that, you can't have it in South Africa, Egypt, Morocco, every single time. Sure. Yeah, even though I'd like that because we play in AFCON more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> South Africa are terrible. But uh, I think that uh, like a, lo a lot of these countries are actually making investments into, into, um, into their football. Yeah. And... Yeah, I think CAF must also just pump more money into football to show that African football is serious. Yeah. Even though, I'm not going to lie, some of the performances at this tournament have shown that African football is not as serious. Even though it is. Yeah. I mean... Like, we've got serious players. Like, what's wrong? Really? There are so many players right now. Like you you mentioned, Champions League top goal scorer. I yeah. This year. You've got Mares, who is... Unbelievable. Yeah. You've got Mane and you've got, um, uh, what's that guy's name? Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not bad. Yeah. He's terrible haircut, though. Yeah, terrible. Haircut. Terrible haircut. But don't worry, by the time he gets back to Liverpool, it's great. Crusty so, the Clown again. Yeah, yeah, he'll 100% be like, hey, hey, hey. I <laughs> <laughs> but um, you've got like those, those four guys are leading it's, it's in some form in Europe. Yeah. I mean, they are, if not the top players, some of the top players in Europe. 100%. Mendy's and the best goalkeeper in the world. Mendy's the best goalkeeper in the world. Right Officially. Now. Yeah. He, he literally won the award a couple of days ago <laughs> yeah. and then he got hammered. Yeah, yeah, he did. That's why he played like that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, why, why is this all a bit like this, bro? I, and it's, you, you know what's weird? is The only team I feel like looks ready is Morocco. Mm. They, they just look slick, bro. It's just like... Okay, every you, you know at this level of football, every it's like everyone knows where they need to be. It's just Morocco are, are the team to beat. I I really believe that, and it's another strong showing for North Africa. But I do not know what's going on. Maybe it's because guys arrived late as well. You know, COVID vibes, and I mean Salah played what on like it was like the Wednesday, and the guys flew over. You know, yeah, it, it, it's kind of an ugly transition. Yeah, you need like a week to just like okay, I'm back in Africa now. It's 25 degrees hotter that's another factor as well you know mm. 
most of these guys are like what Russia, France. Mm. It's the middle of winter there now. Yeah, no, and, and now Oaks have to come to what thirty degrees. Yeah, I just like I know we think these people are robots, but they're not. Yeah, these are human beings who, especially at this level, you know, when you got to churn out performances, is you, uh, uh, like it's not even a time thing. Acclimatization to the climate itself. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. Think of being in England. They were banning games in England. Or remember, they were cancelling games because it was snowing. Yeah, and now you go <laughs> yeah. to thirty degree weather. So, so I hope that's what it is. And to your point, I, I'd love to know what more can be done if you are uh, in the feed. Because we love African football. And there he is. I mean, great hair um, for the, uh, what, what's his name? The Ivory Coast manager. He looks, he's definitely the... Oh, uh, yeah, he hasn't left Africa. His, he, he came over as a 15-year-old. He's yeah. one of those. The, the, we were talking about the Côte d'Ivoire manager. He came over as a 15-year-old and never left. Yeah. Like his parents probably went back to France after whatever they were doing in Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah. Really, he's probably the president of Nestle or whatever. Yeah. And then in, he was at like 21. He's just like, no, I'm loving it here. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to talk. Yeah, these are my guys. I'm, plus, Drogba's my mate now. Yeah. Uh, you know? And he, here he is. He's just he's just hanging out. Hanging out. There seems to be an influencer lady at the Ivory Coast dressing room right there. She looks like an oil painting. Shout out to her getting in there just before the game, taking selfies and making sure that she's got the NFT of all NFTs if they win here. Oh. NFT. What's the story? I don't understand that thing. No, me neither. I've got no clue what's going on. It's a picture that you pay thousands of dollars. Peasy, that guy painted over there. Did you see that guy? Yeah. That's where are those guys. Why aren't there more of those painted people there? Uh, I don't know. We don't do that enough in Africa. <clears throat> we don't, yeah. I, I feel like we've gone. We watch too much Premier League. Where chanting's enough. Like what happened? Do you remember? So in South African football, folks, you obviously, some people may not know South Africa is a country because we don't qualify ever for any tournament. Yeah. So it's so difficult. if you watch football purely, yeah. you, you won't know South Africa. Yeah, you won't know South Africa is a country. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we are, I say we, obviously I'm transitioning to Cameroon because I support Cameroon for this tournament. But those people that live where I live at the moment mm. are South Africans and it's this country's called South Africa. Because mm. it's very difficult to know uh, South Africa, like you said, if you watch exclusively football, you, you've got no clue what's going on. But do you remember there was a time when people would have what we call a magarapa and yes. they'd go to the game. There's a guy with a massive stomach painted. Like that wouldn't be unusual. Yeah. A lady would be in attire, like full yeah. case of Chiefs there's attire. There's a guy with bread. There's a guy with lettuce. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was a very unhygienic, I think, mm-hmm. Chinese. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Look, COVID's changed everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think people are going to be taking bread into public anymore. Yeah, I yeah. just don't. Ryan, do you um do you do you remember those days? Did you ever go and um, see when uh, the Sundowns guy said uh, Pirates were their daily bread, which hurts my feelings? No, no, no. The only football game that I've ever been to in South Africa is when Barcelona came and they were playing Sundowns, and Percy Taos scored that screamer that, from. <laughs> From the other side of the... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, so there's, I haven't seen that. No, but I... It, it's like what I said before. There's just no... There's no culture in this country when it comes to sport. Even though we so, like... The people want it. Mm. The people just, like, aren't organizing. Because mm. I would I would go see a football game tomorrow. But there's no hype around it. Like, do you see the stadiums empty all the time? I've been to a couple of rugby games though. Sure. And where it's been full and it's been fun. And I've been yeah. to, when I was a kid, I used to watch the the cricket. But I mean, even the cricket now is just tanking. I think rugby is the only like real thing left to go and like really fill up the stadiums and watch and enjoy. I would love to watch a football yeah. So that's a bit of hater aid there, Ryan, because uh, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, the captain of the Proteas went to school with Mpizi. Wait, is that the guy who ate all the pies? No, uh, yes, uh, Temba Bavuma, who's who is looking a little pregnant, yeah. Oh, snap. yeah, yeah, big tummy. Oh, big tummy, yeah. Yeah, he was actually <laughs> Luke Shaw vibes. My my matric. Yeah. My matric, yeah, and I'm so glad he made the proteas. Yeah. Because you know, saying to Oaks, Oaks that matriculated in 1975. Yo, I'm no reporter. Yo, me and that Oak were in class together. Yeah, <laughs> bro, <laughs> stop lying. <laughs> So I'm just glad to have a St. David's protea just to shut them up. So for those who don't know, I mean, this conversation may be going over your head, but um, there's a school called St. David's, and it's quite easy to confuse Saints with St. David's, but two different institutions, one in the middle of Johannesburg's um, northern suburbs, Ilovo, 
uh, area, and the other is Saint Stidians in an industrial area called Randburg, and they are massive rivals. So you heard a little bit of that acid from Peasy over here. I just want to clear that up because there's yeah, a lot yeah. of people that are going <laughs> yeah, Saints, yeah. Saint David's. What do you mean? Do you, do you guys talk quite fast. Are you? Are you guys white guys? Yeah. We're not. You know what? Sorry, Peasy. I shouldn't speak for you. I'm not a white guy. Because okay. a lot of people DM me and they go, oh, I'm so surprised you're not a white guy. Yeah, okay. I say, I'm not a white guy. I'm a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, PZ, I don't know. Do you want to maybe clear things up? Because uh, there was somebody who accused you last time of being a white guy. Oh, or, in fact, a what? A what? If you, don't, if you don't mind me just jumping in, we have a couple of comments here. Firstly, Ran012 says, hello, fam. Hey, oh, cool. he's, he's uh, all right, all right. Oh, let's stop right there. What did he say? He said, hello, fam. Okay, we had hello, some problems fam. last time. Right, with greetings. Oh, yes. So, we need to do it properly this time. Rans, what's happening? So, we're going to do, we're going to do a hello thing now. Yeah. So, so, let's right. start with PZ. All right, let's start with PZ. I'll Somebody said hello, PZ. Yo. <laughs> and uh, do you want to say it or should no, I? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. I don't, I don't I'll just say hi. Hi. Okay. Um, also, we have uh, James Ilsley say MKT. With the drip. Okay, okay. See, he's picking up the vibes I'm picking up. There's oh, something the, happening. What are you guys talking about? This old thing. Is uh, hey, this got to James, are you hearing this? Yes. Yeah. Are you I'm, hearing this? I barely no, just... Dude. I didn't even... <laughs> I mean, think about it. I just took it out the cupboard. Okay. Just, uh, took it out the cupboard, put it in my bag, went to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? This uh, I didn't even try. I didn't even yeah. try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also... Yeah. <laughs> this is check if the tags are still on. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Ron. Um. Yeah, uh, James just said in the comments, when's your next trip to Cape Town? <laughs> now, James, now, James Ilsley, I uh, will explain the Cape Town context. Uh, James Ilsley, a man who works with us, a part of the crew, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's one of the lads. He's one of the lads. Good oak. Glasses guy. By the way, James, he's got glasses, this James guy. Still squints when he by, he's by a screen. I say to him, James, get new glasses. Bro. Oh, no. Like, how idea. attached are you to these glasses? They're clearly too old. Get new ones with your current prescription. Because yeah. your eyes get worse over time. Mm, no, 100%. I've had glasses for years. I know this. No, I actually need to get them. Yeah. So what do you mean you need to get? I need to get because my eyes aren't the greatest. So why don't you have glasses? Because I've still got some time. Before what? Before your cataract? <laughs> no. <laughs> so like my eyesight, my eyesight isn't terrible. It's just... Not as good as it used to be. Oh my goodness. Because you do regular eye tests, obviously. Yes. Yeah, as a healthy person. No, I know that. And the optometrist was just like, oh, fam. You should get glasses. It was like, I started getting a little weaker. You we might need to talk about glasses. So I was like, so, but, okay, um, so why don't you have, are you feeling like you, you'll look like a nerd? Or what's your story? Do, do you no, not want to no, look no, like I, uh, Malcolm I, X? No, no, no. Like, um, I used to have. Just for like a screen, yeah, you know, like you know the light and all that stuff damages your eyes. Yeah, yeah, I've got blue light uh, tinted yeah, yeah. on, so on my I lens. I literally yeah. had glasses specifically for that yeah. because I was in front of a thing for sixteen hours. Now that it's that time has dropped, obviously I don't need to wear the glasses anymore, and then yeah, the eyesight with age would deteriorate. This is unbelievable what I'm listening to. Just get glasses. Like, what are you even talking about here? No, yeah, no, look, I'll, I'll get, I'll get shades. Need to get the right frames, obviously. You, you, you don't even sound confident, bro. Like, you, I'm not convinced that at any stage you're actually thinking about executing this glasses. Um, bro, does drip exist with glasses? Bro, get I mean. these here, right here. Tom Brady. Oh, these are Tom Brady, yeah. Christopher Kloos from Denmark. <laughs> uh, okay. um, MKT. Go ahead. Sorry, if you, I'm, I'm, no, only, don't be, don't I'm only jumping because of time here. Yes. We do have uh, someone from Nigeria who sent through a video. Please go ahead and play it. And so I think we should play it just before they start because I think uh, he brings up uh, quite a quite a good uh, point. Now, so, yeah, yeah, before you bring it up, I uh, mean, this you, guy is a massive, explain. massive uh, um, sort of TikTok star and somebody who, who's who been kind enough to actually get, it's what we call get in the mix, mm. uh, PZ. It's, I believe uh, his name is Young Noble Comedy. That, that's exactly who he is. And you'll know him when you see it that he's done some of the most hilarious stuff on the internet. So, Young Noble Comedy has uh, something to say about this game. Please do drop your comments about what you think of Young Noble Comedy's comedy uh, once you've heard this. 
hi guys it feels so good to be on the mkt show quickly there's a certain player i want to speak about and he's a player i believe will be the star on show in the game between ivory coast and algeria and that is wilfred zaha in his recent game against Sierra Leone, he was absolutely unplayable putting on a very solid display within 82 minutes in the field of play he won his side a penalty he provided the assist for his side first goal and he completed three dribbles out of five attempts he joined most of the match and he had a whopping 100 percent pass accuracy in the game the most of the match believe me guys zaha is going to be the creative force for ivory coast in their game against algeria and the algerian backline should be very wary of the threat from the crystal palace hitman That um, that Nigerian accent is unmistakable, and <laughs> how awesome! Like South African accents are so boring. Nigerian guys have swag. They're sauce. Nah, but uh, no, no, I like. I'm not. I'm not. Um, but do you do you, you reckon South African accents over the Nigerian? I love that no, Nigerian. No, no, I I I love the Nigerian uh, Nigerian accent. It's a, it, it's dope. It's something that you like to hear. There's this is. Is this viral guy? You always say stuff about that's my enjoyment. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I haven't seen oh, that. That's my enjoyment. Yeah, greatest videos ever. I love it when I hear that. Ah, like, oh, I know exactly. Oh, that guy goes in. You so know, we, who, we do have some dope accents in here. We do have some dope. Accents. Hold on, we're gonna come back to that because I think you've taken it personally. This guy's got um, a Mancini <laughs> shirt. It doesn't look like he's gonna sweat through it. Uh, does, but the. Um, this, by the way, Ivory Coast kit, are we going to talk about how dead this is considering how saucy their kits have been before? I, I've had the last two Ivory Coast kits. I wouldn't buy this with Peasy's money that he's going to win tonight of all the winnings. So, Peasy, just before we get going, right? Yeah, I've got three minutes to bet on any other game. Does anyone want... No, I don't want any action. I, I like to just watch. Action? Okay. So, Ivory Coast, Algeria. Let's uh, quickly run through it for those that are just joining. Welcome to the MKT Show Watch Along. I'm MKT, uh, and a lot of people uh, say, what does MKT mean? Mbulelo Kaele to Tinta. So that's me. Um, and it is important you say the middle name. A lot of people, uh, this has happened to me. I once got my dad's tax bill, and I nearly got, I nearly fainted. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, Oladeo, Oladeo, Oladeo uh, says, who do you think will win? Oladeo, I think um, I'm... I'm with Paul here. Uh, although Serge Aurier is the captain of Côte d'Ivoire, I think Côte d'Ivoire are going to win because it must have been sickening to draw the way they did last time. And it was absolutely sickening. And Algeria just looked pop or flat. I, I just, I don't know. Where's the source? They mean, is this South African ref, by the way? It could be from up there. Up north, huh? Yeah. Uh, he's giving him a solid lecture. I never like it when the ref wants to be a bit of a showman. It's kind of like, yeah, like you go to a wedding and the pastor tries to take over the wedding by yeah. being the biggest uh, uh, star player. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no, no one cares about you. Dude. No. Don't, don't make the game about yourself. Well, let's find out where this ref's from. I told you, Victor Gomez. You can't mistake that. Um, old Victor Gomez, very much from South Africa. Victor. Although, nice to have South African representation yeah. at AFCON for once. Obviously, we're I not think, hosting. This, yeah, so this, 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 this is the closest we're going to get. Yeah, no, sure. Listen, any way you can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the COVID economy. You, you can say, hey, there was a South African on an AFCON pitch. No, so, it's huge. Yeah, so uh, don't say we weren't there. Somewhere. Having said that, uh, so Patrice Bomel, uh, he's kind of looking like a Bond villain who's retired. You know what I mean? Like like the guy who's mentoring the va the villains in the Bond film. You know what I mean? So he's, he's not the villain anymore. He's like the godfather of villains and he's funding all the other villains. That's yeah. what the Ivory Coast manager looks like. Uh, uh, who's, the, who's, the, who's the manager for um, Algeria? Um, I'll tell you now. Also, oh, uh, That's Jamel Belmadi. That's the guy who... It, he says it's 40... They say he's 45. He looks 66 to me. Very, he looks very like sweet. DJ Khaled if he went on a diet. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. And Ivory... <laughs> 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 Hey, that's strong feedback. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Khaled, another one. Um, Algeria, Cote d'Ivoire, kickoff. Serge Aurier gets rid of it uh, of the long ball from the kickoff. I think Cote d'Ivoire are going to win. I really do. Uh, uh, Ryan, what are you thinking here, pal? Yeah, I'm thinking Ivory Coast. I just, I don't know. I've read a lot of nonsense about Algeria in the, in the papers lately. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know. And also... 
DJ Drogba comes from here. Let's be real. Enough said. Enough said. Now, Ryan Tinline, as you can hear, he's not exactly speaking with his pundit hat on. He's, he's one of the biggest Chelsea fans you'll ever meet in your whole entire life. As Victor Gomes gives a free kick against Seri, who's got... That, that's a 1990s peroxided hair hairstyle. I mean, Al Haji Doof had that in 2002 at the World Cup. Shout out to Seri yeah, for I bringing think, back those days. No, but it, it looks... Oh, bro. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and he's got a Dax forehead and he's got the part. Yeah. Uh, nah. It's the triple threat, really. Yeah, I mean, no, shout out to Seri. Oh, and it's fading. Yeah, and he's it's got... fading a mohawk-ish. Yeah, oh, that's just... And he's chewing... What's of players in chewing gum? Do, do their moms not call them before the game? Like, my mom used to hate it if I was chewing bubble gum, by the way. Did you, in, I don't know if you would. In, in life. In life in general. She in hates life. it. It's disgusting. No, my, my mom didn't, uh, she didn't uh, hate it. She was just like, you got to throw that stuff away. No, they tell you, oh, it'll, it'll take eight years to dissolve. Oh, uh, yes, uh, the good uh, lies. In your stomach. It's like uh, if you swallowed an apple uh, or a tree's going to grow in your stomach, right? Did you ever, anyone ever tell you that? Yeah, I also told, I told that about watermelon seeds. Oh, yeah, watermelon seeds. So, there's yeah, a lot of lies out there. And then you were like, bah, seedless watermelon. That's it. Yeah. I only shop at Woolworths. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I was I was allowed to, to chow gum. But mm. just, if my mom found that gum anywhere else but a dustbin, yeah. best believe I was getting my ass whipped. No, that's nice. Best, uh, best believe. A little, a little bit of uh, hospitality for the, for the backside of the belt, you know what I mean? So... Um, you, you love that. You love that. Uh, Algeria, chance, absolutely uh, worst free kick you've uh, ever seen in your terrible. life by Riyad Mahrez. I mean, it's basically a back pass. You oh, might yeah, as well have passed it to the, to the keeper uh, for Cote d'Ivoire. Who do you think, uh, who do you think will win? Cote d'Ivoire, Algeria. We are two minutes in. If you're watching at home, leave us a comment. Um, now, James Ilsley asked, when is my next trip to Cape Town? Folks, Here's the thing about the, the, the guys I work with, right? Is they're constantly attacking my character. And it's um, it's quite belittling. You know what I mean? You think, oh, well, is that a penalty? Your referee, is that a penalty? So, no, because this, this is not just Africa now. This is South Africa. But yeah. he looks very strict. Victor Gomes. Yeah. Yeah. No, look, I think if you're looking for a lenient ref, the South African ref is yeah. probably the most likely place you're going to get it. Oh, no, I think the opposite. Well, you think because uh, they're angry, because maybe he's angry. Ooh, is that a penalty? Oof. Ooh. No, because this dude looks on it. Like, uh, he reminds me, who's that savage um, referee in the Premier League with the bald head? Mike? Is it Mike Dean? Oh, uh, Mike Dean, yeah. He reminds me a lot of, he looks a lot like him. Uh, you, I thought you were going to say Howard Webb. No, Howard Webb is uh, Man United FC. I mean, yeah. shout out to him. Man United legend, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ian, uh, oh, I am Noxman, says he is very strict. So, obviously, from the local game, Victor Gomes, he does look like that. He looks like he was giving the Oaks a lecture. Yeah. yeah. The game. I told I you. I want a good clean fight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pull an accent out of him. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's Judy, but oh, yeah, that's, I do. That's hilarious. I do accents like I, I like uh, when I'm walking around the house, bro. No, he will do it. He'll busy is. I'll just do a random accent. One of the funnier Randomly. people. I'll talk about like the stuff that I'm I'm doing. I feel like you just walked past an Afrikaans school and was just learning what they like chant on the sidelines. <laughs> well, yeah, it was more of a boxing guy. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, PZ will give you just about every accent under the sun and pretty well, much can't. hilarious at all times. I, I, I can't get Michael Caine. I've tried for about four years. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a tough one though. Cause yes, I can't get Michael Caine. Oh, that's a ball that. That's a ball that. Okay, Keep that uh, in, so. uh, going to do this. Let's yeah, see. they're on the front foot. Oh, oh, it's working him. He's in the box now. Do, do not trip oh. him. Oh, I didn't make it. Victor in time. Gomes Wait. says, get up, Could son. Could that be a foul? Get up, yeah. son. No foul. Victor Gomes says, but I'm from the south of Jobik. I feel you don't let the wind blow you over, son. No, no. Ooh. No, I think it's very. A little possible. bit of tugging there, right? Eh? Uh, yeah. yeah, have a look at the way he grabbed him. Yeah, his. Ju oh, that's a. Mm, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good, but it's. You can't give that. You start giving that, I mean, we start giving everything. Yeah. No, you can't fall over in the box, son. Uh, so apparently he is very strict, to, uh, according to I am Noxman. Who is one of our um, MKT show listeners, by the way? 
So a regular there, five minutes into it, Côte d'Ivoire, Algeria. Now the pitches are starting starting to take strain. Mm. Remember at the beginning they were they, they were, were green. Pristine. Yeah. Yeah, but now I mean thirty degrees every day. Probably don't have time to water them every every game, and they are looking sad. Look at that. Oh, gentlemen, replace your divots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shout out to this coach, um, the guy who looks like a retired Bond villain. Wearing the white sneakers. Yeah, he's he's rocking a kind of young kid, a, a cool dad look. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, can I tell you? He looks like looks like Toto Wolf. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Toto like Wolf. The, well, the, the, the swag. The yeah. swag is very Toto Wolf swag. So I see Toto and um, those guys still haven't given up. That ball was out, by the way. Um, they haven't given up. They're still fighting the Verstappen thing, by the way. That, that, that announcement is later this month. As no, no, no. Uh, isn't it early next month? Oh, is it early next yeah, month? Yeah, I think it's early. So they've just started the investigation now, this month. They all wanted to have their Christmas time and family time. No, sure. I mean, uh, Toto's a billionaire. There's no way he can't have Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So he thought to himself, okay, I'm going to go home. Let's let's relax. And then yeah, Lewis well, probably needs to, what, release a new clothing line or whatever Lewis Hamilton does. <laughs> and then we'll come back and fight this case. Yeah, look, I I, I, I don't I don't want Mercedes to, to fight this case. Because I don't. It's just because it's uh, giving all the Red Bull fans and the Verstappen fans leg to stand up to say, oh, you guys are sore losers. Yeah. Even though... Well, I mean, what we that's all kind of what it is. Yeah, no. What we all witnessed that day was an absolute... A disgrace! Disgrace! <laughs> <laughs> In the words of the great Didier Drogba, a disgrace! A disgrace! <laughs> Oh, oh they're in. Oh, oh. Superb defending. Oh, Nicola. Nicola oh. Pepe, of course, of Arsenal fame. But yeah, that day was it it was uh, it was it was terrible. And um I saw on I saw on uh, Black Twitter some chick was asking, uh what happened in the Formula One? Everyone's losing their minds. And the guy said, Let me explain it to you in football terms. <laughs> Imagine you're like twelve points ahead. And all of a sudden, the team gets relegated. And then they just eat up all your points. And now you lose at the last game. Right? <laughs> and I was just like, I would lose my, I'd lose my shit. Like, sorry, excuse my friend. No, no, no. Yeah. You, the, the, this is not a kid's show. You, yeah. It's, yeah. it's TikTok, not uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah. It's TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, actually, all things considered, Lewis Hamilton has stayed incredibly composed there. Yeah, I think, you know, he uh, he is. I think he's just focusing on He's just focusing on, yeah. This, I mean, this Lewis guy. is being a total prick. But that's just me. But you know uh, what I mean? Afterwards. I'm going to call it what it is. <laughs> Let's hear it. If I can't call a spade a spade, then I mean... Who will? What you are know we what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Let, let us have it, Ryan. What, what are you saying? Lewis Hamilton, no good, huh? No, I'm just saying, you want to go get knighted, but then you're pissed when you lose, and then you don't pitch up to the gala dinners, <laughs> and you unfollow all your Formula One friends. What are you doing? So you, you, you know what you know what it is about the unfollowing stuff. My only thing was Lewis because I'm I'm a I'm a Verstappen uh, fan. Is in the in the post event of this, don't get involved in the ugly stuff. You you Sir Lewis Hamilton now. Don't yeah, unfollow. No, don't yeah. you know what I mean? Just stay above it. It's Toto's problem. Go release another. You know, go keep avoiding tax in Monaco. Go sit on a yacht. Go kiss yeah. another baby. Yeah, yeah, hang out with like who, who, who do you think? Like, who's eligible to hang out with Lewis Hamilton? No, so... Like, Serena Williams... Ha- Hamilton hangs out with, like, Justin Bieber and... Okay, he's one of those Justin cats. Bieber can hang out with no, 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 no. They're, they're good friends. Oh, yeah, are they? He's got yeah, he's, he's brought them to the shows because B- he gives Bieber backstage passes to Formula One. Oh, jeez. And Bieber gives him backstage passes to stay at, to, uh, you know, his concerts. Really? Yeah. That's weird. They're like, big Lewis friends. Hamilton. That's weird. Why is Lewis Hamilton going to hang out with him? They're very good mates. That's I'll, weird. I'll get a picture of him. But, um, look, yeah, no, he does need to stay away from it. Yeah. He, he does need to stay away like to to deal with it. But I was saying to uh, guys that I was watching the, the, the tragedy with, <laughs> and we said, as soon as that happened, Toto Wolf sent a WhatsApp message, said, everyone's going to be in the office tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone in Mercedes. Even if you drive a Mercedes in South Africa, you will be in the office tomorrow. Yeah. Because we are not losing like that. 
Like, remember when Fergie lost to that Aguero? Aguero! No. Yeah. yeah. And he said that he'll never lose another League Cup goal difference again. He was supposed to retire. That yeah. year was supposed to be Fergie's retirement year. Yeah, and he lost like that. That's yeah. why he got that person yeah. to bang in an extra 20 goals. <laughs> I think that's what Mercedes are doing behind the scenes. Yeah. Let's have this investigation going. Can wait, hold on. Is this a, is this a card worthy uh, thing here? No. No, 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 no. A little bit of contact. It's a man sport. I mean, come on. No, no, no. Let's not let's not start turning this. You're joking. Oh. Victor Gomes. <laughs> no. It did no, say no, he was no. quite strict, isn't it? No. Is Victor. that a yellow card? No, come on, my mate. Dude, Eleven minutes in what? the game. No, 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 Victor, <laughs> no. No ways. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's embarrassing enough that South Africa aren't there. We can't go there and start making terrible decisions at AFCON. Huh? He hasn't touched him. Oh, my gosh. It's not elbow. It's a little bit of contact. On the, on the it's face. not even a foul, actually. Yeah. It's a con- All right, if you're watching this, does Victor Gomes need to be deported immediately? No. <laughs> no, no, man. no, man. Victor Gomes letting down everyone. I mean... Listen, he's the fun of a fun of refs as far as I'm concerned at this stage. What is he doing? See, this is a ref doing too much. Yeah, doing way too much. Uh, Ryan, uh, as you know only too well, you can do too much in life. Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, but maybe he wants to ref the final. Oh, I see what you mean. Kind of be like a, a head boy. A yeah, because we already have a ref who stopped the game at 86 minutes. But he's going head to head with Serge Aurier. Oh. What is going on here? Oh, another oh yellow. My God. But why is Victor Gomes getting in Serge Aurier's face? But also, it's Serge Aurier. So Serge Aurier could have gotten in his face. They're both. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a miss. Is that good defending? Yeah, it is good defending. He's, he's like, I can't believe I got... Delhi. Yo, I can't these, believe I got that yellow. These guys are rattled now, eh? They are not happy. They are not happy. And if they score a goal, you know they're not stopping. Yeah, they would have been acid. They're, they're not stopping. You see, this is Africa. You kick the ball out, someone kicks you from behind. You stand up. You yeah. Like, hey, chief. In the Premier League, Oaks are rev- rolling yeah. around. Rolling around. Oh, this is going to be a cracker. It's going <laughs> to be a good game. <laughs> it's a good cracker. But there's going to be a box. Yes, yeah, oh, there's, there's already a two yellow cards on the table here. It's unreal. Serge Aurier. I, oh, <laughs> I do like uh, old Victor Gomes getting in his face there like a four ways oak. Though. Yeah. So yeah. what did you say about my chick? <laughs> Serge, Serge, I'm not farting. I'm not farting. I'm not farting. <laughs> I'm just chatting here. Uh, hey, relax, relax. Relax. What are you saying, dude? What are you saying? Uh, okay. I'm not fucked. What? Yeah. what? No, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Is that another person down? Surely not. I mean, that, that, oh, oh no, no, look no. at this. No. My no. favorite oh. is when they do the hitting the ground. You know, when the player's like, ah! It's so swipe to hit the ground. And it's the same oak as well. Oh, oh, come oh, on. oh, oh no. Come, come on. on. So, oh, this is. is my, as the great did he, Belali did, oh, no, is a disgrace. No, no, no. He's a disgrace. <laughs> Honestly, is is a disgrace. He's done the full roll around. I think they do, I think they're trying to get him. Yeah, a red card. This is unreal, and he's still on the ground. He didn't even touch you, Oak. Victor Gomes needs to calm down as well. Yeah. Why is he screaming at everyone? No, man. I cannot okay, believe just, this. This is shocking. Oh my god. But the dude's holding his face. Yeah, the guy didn't even touch, touch his face. face. The double roll. One, two, <laughs> the three. Double roll. He's, on, he's on to his third roll there. Uh, is Belali, number eight. An absolute plonker. Also, absolute plonker. Ibra, uh, uh, sorry. Hold on. Belali is. They're even putting ice on his face. No, Muhammad Yusuf Belali, you are a shame to everybody in North Africa, everybody in Algeria. And anybody with hair on this planet, you are a disgrace. He said disgrace. You're fine, Oak. Mm. Oh, my goodness, this guy. Mohamed Yusuf Bilali is one of the biggest losers in the history of football. And also, why is Red Mahrez there, like, defending it? Surely, oh. he, he plays in Premier League. He knows. Here's the thing. He, he just wants all the credit that uh, Mo Salah's getting right now. Because... Yeah. You, you know what happened with Moritz? He never got the heat. Because actually, if you think about it, in Premier League terms, him and Salah have done the same thing. One Premier League title. Yeah. Like, no one ever said Moritz is the guy after that insane season. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
But but I think he maybe maybe he's just angry at Mo Salah and it's all coming out in this game. You know what I mean? It's like I want to be the biggest Arabic star in the world. What's going on here? Do you think it's because he left the club straight after he won the No, won no, the but title? even in that season, I mean he got player of the season in the Premier League, but no one said you're the best in the world. <laughs> like, yeah, no. but do you know what I mean? No, yeah, but, but what is he expecting? Well he took it was a five thousand to one odds and he he took them to the title. I mean, this is purely a theory. I mean, uh, well, uh, it's actually it, it, well, they're essentially actually the same, but it's weird because everyone says Oaks, it wasn't just Marius. Kante was the one doing the heavy lifting. Oh, Marius was the that. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't just Salah. I yeah. mean, yeah, Oaks, like Chile, Van Alden, Van Dijk, all this. Thing. So it, it, it is weird. Yeah, like no one ever said that about Marius. Like, as Africans, we never got juiced either, you know? Like, Africans are on it now in terms of... And what it does show, I would say... You got to be at a big club, because mm. imagine he did that. Like, maybe Man City now it's too late because now Oaks have seen like Bernardo starting to settle down, yeah. David Silva. But if he'd gone to like United, yeah. uh, Mares and done it at United and take, took him into the title, he might have got the shine that um, Mo Salah has. You know what yeah. I mean? So it was weird because that was an insane. He was unplayable that season. Oh yeah, no. What what he did to his future club? That yeah, on <laughs> both. On both <laughs> fixtures. Yeah. Jeez, he finished it. Good. And no one ever said a thing. Yeah. No one ever said a thing. No I mean, thing. so here we go. Uh, PZ, you're going to have to restart that on oh. that one. There's a lap tizzle down there. So just so you know, guys, we're watching, obviously, on the app. Uh, we got to, we got some people watching from Zambia here, uh, right? Ah, You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. S- uh, who, who's that? Uh, Sia Mubeze. Uh, um, or it could be Sia Mubeze. It's a tricky one there. Uh, but yeah, I'm welcome. Watching from Zambia. Where in Zambia are you? Zambia, awesome country. Great coffee, by the way, there. Great coffee. Obviously, those who know, oh, very nice from uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Those who know, no, I mean, I will only drink single origin. Ryan, let me tell you something. I saw, so in Zambia, depending where you are, right, it's, it's quite raw in terms of nature. I saw the biggest snake I've ever seen, like oaks pulling it out of the woods. Like these oaks walked out of like the, the like a the woods with a massive snake, bro. Like Jeez. massive. Like was like maybe four or five guys. Massive this thing. I thought, geez, like, did you ever see the disaster of a movie with Jennifer Lopez back in the day called Anaconda? Uh, maybe you guys are a bit young. Uh, what? If anyone who's watched ETV it's has a watched a billion legend. times. <laughs> I mean, that was, oh. a, that was a great movie back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Anaconda. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a South African staple. It's a know? South African staple, like Big Mama's House on SABC <laughs> 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 Like We, we know, we're yeah. going to see Anaconda eventually. <laughs> Big Mama's uh, House, absolutely love it. So, uh, welcome. Maybe, you know what, Sia, maybe you should, um, so you should clear it up. Is, that, is it Siamu Beze? Siamu, uh, Siamu Beze. I mean, is what's your full name? Because it's a bit tricky here. I want to, I want to put some respect on his name. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Shout out Bird. Shout out Bird. That's Birdman who famously said, um, "I'm here now. What's happening?" Of course, that that uh, famous scene. Ryan, he's, he said, um, "You know what I mean." He he pulled up on uh, on your boy at the breakfast club. There, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, there's no one quite like Birdman rocking up at the breakfast club just to get up and leave. Yeah, with those lights. Are we finished or are we done? Yeah, uh, uh, we're done or we finished. <laughs> I'm here, he says, I'm here now, what's happening? Um, <laughs> shout out to Birdman for wearing light light lavender uh, glasses in that video. You know, do, you, do you remember that video? Of course, you you know, him, PC. No, what? When Birdman uh, pulled up on uh, the breakfast club and um, he pulled up with his goons. No. Oh, you! Oh, oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, he said, "I'm here now. What's no, happening?" He said, "I'm here now. What's happening?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, "Are we finished or are we done?" Yeah, yeah. And he gets up and leaves. He says, "Are we done or we finish?" And then uh, who's your boy, um, Charlemagne? Charlemagne the guy. So yeah. like, started sweating a little bit, but then he kind of realized the goons ain't gonna do nothing. Then he's like, um, "Why don't you pull up on?" I don't know who else he was having beef with at the yeah. time. He's like, "I'm pulling up on you." I'm here now. What's happening? Bro, he had this one guy who is the size of a gorilla with oh, him. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Massive goon just giving the, the mean mug. Like, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that was awesome. Birdman. Brr. 
Shout yeah. out to him, yeah. Uh, shout out to him. Yeah. And he's, he, he had these like lavender glasses that. Oh my god. No, no, it was incredible. The whole thing looked, it looked set up. It, lo- it looked like a movie. Jeez. Birdman. Birdman. Yeah. I think there's just certain oaks in, 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 the, in the rap industry. Yeah, I wouldn't play games with. You reckon Birdman? Birdman seems like one of them. Uh, the game. Yeah, the game never. Yeah. Anyone who's been shot, I'd just rather stay away from them. I said, uh, oh, so, uh, listen. Can we give a shout out to the uh, to the greatest recovery, two uh, greatest recoveries in the history of sport, um, Andros Townsend's hairline. Oh yes. So and Sangare, the goalkeeper for uh, Cote d'Ivoire, who, after making the most embarrassing error at the tournament, faked a shoulder injury and forced a stretcher to come all the way around in thirty degrees to come and fetch him all the way by the goals because he'd made an embarrassing error and a miraculous recovery. Yeah. Yeah. No. Look. It- if we're giving him the benefit of the doubt, great recovery. <laughs> but we, we, we all know the truth. We Badra all... Ali Sangare. Maybe what we do, Mpizi. Kind of like Wolverine. Maybe we get Sangare's blood, keep it in a capsule, see what the genetics are. Yeah, because the, to recover from what looked like a dislocated shoulder, which he made it seem like, is incredible in three days. Mm. Now, some would say never been done before, actually. Yeah. So... Um, <laughs> just miraculous I stuff. Think they need to go test his blood in the NFL. Oh, Pepe oh, said. Nicola Papa. Oh! Jesse <laughs> makes up for his miss in the previous game. It is the superstar, the AC Milan superstar, Frank Kessi. And he says it's 1 0 to Cote d'Ivoire. Bro, that was a great finish. Oh, the mighty elephants look like they are going to sink the Desert Foxes. Now, what does this do to the group? What it means is the following. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire obviously uh, go to seven points. Algeria stay on one point. And at this stage, Equatorial Guinea will go through. Um, obviously on four points with Sierra Leone on three. It's it's a draw currently in the other game. Oh, um, so we, what do we need then, PZ? We need a win by Equatorial Guinea. Okay, so we, we're on the right track with Cote d'Ivoire here. We need... Yeah. Um, Obviously, Sierra Leone to have the worst game of their lives. Oh, no. Have a look at this replay, though. Oh, they could be caught no, outside. No, not outside. this one. The first, the first one. Oh, is he off? The, the first pass to, to Big. That one over there. Although, no, because it, it deflected off that guy. Did deflection nullify No, no, no. But was he offside when the guy passed? It? I, I think no. it could have been. No, look, they've already skipped to this. It's over. No VAR goal. Oh, but what a finish, bro. I mean, okay. Uh, AC Milan yeah. ledge. Coming in, balls up. Boom. Also, what kills me is Inside. somebody. I saw one of those Algerian gents already calling for a. <laughs> a VAR. Uh, no, no, no. He's saying that um, he got pushed or something like that. These guys, I don't know what the issue is. Nice hairstyles. Uh, the, what's it? They are blessed. The Algerian guys. Yeah. Arabic guys have great hair. Mm. We like you got to be able to say it. You know what I mean. Mm. And also, I got to say. I don't know. I don't know. We South Africans don't have great hair. Like it's got to be like West African oaks. They no, got great can hair. Can I tell you what? It's because South Africans work so hard that none of the hairlines survive. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. You see, I don't know if it's that. Uh, South Africans are, are. I don't know. A little lazy. I've got to be honest with you. It is very frustrating for me. South Africans, you know, human rights and uh, I'm so I need la- work life balance. Oh, Jesus. Oh, work life balance. It's a. It's a joke. It's hysterical. Yeah, I like. What, what I don't like about when people say work-life balance, people start complaining about work-life balance like when you've got a deadline on Friday and you say, <laughs> no, don't go to Groove on Thursday. You've got a deadline on Friday. Oh, work-life balance. Oh, oof, oh no. Oh, that that, that looks... There is. Or you got to be careful once Sangare dives like that. Yes. Yeah, Yo, with the shoulder. Yeah, no, it's, it's risky business. It's risky business. <laughs> Good I mean, movie as well. Tom Cruise, I think. Well, I haven't seen recently. You haven't seen Risky Business? Yeah, my mate was, me and him were talking about all these movies that I, have, I haven't seen. He was having. Same. Um, Good Will Hunting. No, you haven't seen, what do you mean you haven't seen Good Will Hunting? Bro? I have not seen Good Will Hunting. Bro. I, I didn't watch Forrest Gump attentively. He nearly threw something at me. Uh, and then there was one, Big, Big Lebowski. He, he hates haven't that. Haven't you seen that? No, I haven't seen that. What is wrong with him? You haven't seen The Big Lebowski? No, I haven't seen The Big Lebowski. 
I'm guys, so peasy, bro. Or, you know what? He says this to me all the time on the show. But we, we just work. We haven't had time yeah. to kick back and watch yeah. movies like MKT. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? See, see, we don't have a work life balance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just grafting on? No, you're just grafting on. You have it's all life. about the grind, but It's all about grinding, bro. Grind <laughs> Monday to Friday, bro. <laughs> and not, not, not the coffee grind, you know what no, I mean? Not, not MKT's no, coffee, coffee grind. Coffee. We grind gears, bro. No, I got you. Yo, we put in the hard yards, <laughs> We grind gears. <laughs> Put in the hard yards, bro. I don't have time to watch Kelly, you know I, what I mean? I don't have time to watch Kelly, bro. I used to tell him, Master Chef. What are you doing? Oh, I am the Master Chef, you know what I mean? Bro, it's literally Graft, Iron Church, Dos, back to Graft. <laughs> That's literally my routine, man. Unbelievable. Uh, Woody Bean says, and use that against everyone. I'm not too sure what Woody is talking about there. Woody, maybe you can clear up in the comments what we're talking about. Uh, di- uh, Diriki, uh, Dirisak, um, down dash AR. Mm. Uh, now, some people may not know what a down dash is there, Paul. Uh, underscore. That's exactly yeah. what a down dash is. Uh, Woody, un- uh, down dash beans says, and use that against everyone. Now, and underscores also what Algeria are doing. Yeah, no, they, they are underscoring quite correct. They are losing here. It is embarrassing. Uh, welcome to the MKT show. Uh, watch along. It is Cote d'Ivoire against Algeria. Algeria, the Desert Foxes are going home. They, yeah. they, you know what? If I'm Mares, I've already got the private jet ready to go back to Man City because I don't want to face Algerian people, the taxpayers, yeah. with this performance. Oh, is this the worst uh, defense of uh, an AFCON ever? Yeah. It's got to be close, right? They haven't scored a goal. Because Egypt won the one before, but Egypt got knocked out in the quarters, did they not? Oh, they would have scored a goal. Uh, guys, Algeria have not scored a goal in the whole tournament. Yeah. We th- we we nearly, what? I'd say we're tw- th- half an hour into this game. So that's 180. We're 210 minutes into their tournament and they haven't scored a goal. Jeez. <laughs> As defending champions. And, I mean, we're not talking like they've got Ivory Coast, Egypt, and, uh, I don't know, like South Africa or whatever yeah. in their group. I mean, South Africa can't be in the group because they've never qualified because we're not hosting. But um, Algeria had Equatorial Guinea and Sierra Leone. No, come on. Oh, so you're telling me you can't score a goal in that? No, come on. This would be, it would be one of the worst defences in the history of of any tournament. Because France had a shocking defence of... O2. Was it, yeah, no, was, of the 98 World Cup in O2. Yeah, because then they, that was when they didn't score a single... Yeah, they lost to Senegal... And they didn't even go through, hey? They didn't go through the group. Spain oh. came last in the group. They lost their first game 5-0 to Netherlands. Was that in, was that in 2014? That was in 2014. In Brazil, hey? And, they didn't yeah. even, and then what happened? Did they, they didn't make it through the group either. 2010, Italy didn't even qualify, did they? But Italy are weird, eh? They, they are weird at tournaments. Like, if they're in a tournament, they make the final. They, or they don't qualify. They don't qualify. And they, they're absolute barries. You see what I did? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, full of a singer. Shout out to... to <laughs> yeah, but they're absolute barriers in the qualifying. Yeah. Like, if they didn't even come, like, just miss it or lose the playoff. Like, they didn't even make the playoffs. So, either Portugal... Who, who's Portugal playing in the playoffs again for the World Cup? Is it Italy? No, I don't think Portugal's playing in Italy. No, but one of... Like, a, a big team's not going to the World Cup, by the way. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Yeah, I was actually going to say... Bafana. Yeah, no, no. Bafana, oh, Bafana. Unless you know they're I mean. hosting. Bro, do you know when I realized they were not making the, the World Cup? I was watching Bafana and Zim. You know when they let the stadium open to 2,000 fans? Yes. Yeah, so it's like the, nine, uh, the 85th minute and then just this random group of Oaks just start screaming, We're going to Qatar. I was just like, oh my no. God, it's not happening. Like, you know with us, we do not celebrate until our name is like confirmed. Because yeah, yeah. remember when uh, Oaks were doing dancing trials on the side there and they celebrated. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't make it. And then this one, as soon as I heard we're going to Qatar, I looked at my boy G-Star and I was like, bruh, we're not going. It's over. <laughs> we're not going to this World Cup. So Portugal, Turkey is the one. Uh, mm. So but isn't so Portugal is in the playoffs? Um, Germany made it straight, eh? Yeah, Sweden, Czech Republic, no good. 
Why uh, Russia, Poland? So, po- yeah, Portugal or Turkey are not going to be at the World Cup. Oh, it, but Italy are playing North Macedonia. Shout out to Italy for organizing that one. Probably had Roman Abramovich organize that draw. You know what I'm saying? If <laughs> if you know, you know. We got Lille twice. You know what I'm saying? After but, a technical um, error. Yeah, North, North Macedonia. Hey, hey. I mean, oof, oof. Uh, World Cup, World Cup, uh, World Cup playoffs, but they qualified for Euros last time, so I don't think they're right. No, it's Gor- sure, no? You know what I enjoy about that? Goran Pandev didn't play a single game like in the Euro qualifiers. You, they qualify for Euros. He yeah. comes back and he's the captain. <laughs> Bro. Bro, when I saw Pandev's day in that first game, I was like, but dog, like. You're 50. Bro. Like, you're old. He bro. was playing with Samuel Eto. Remember, at the, he was in the same team when they won the treble. Yes. Bro, I was so young. <laughs> yeah. When, when, like, I first saw Pandey. And now I'm like, dog, I paid taxes now. Like, <laughs> I paid taxes now. And you're still, like, playing football. And you weren't a youngster no. when I first saw you. Like, if you were, like, a youngster, then, ugh, no, no, I get it. You're an old oak. Bro. Yeah. But if you weren't a youngster... Or, but it's also tough with uh, guys like Goran Pandev who are balding early to tell how, t- how old he is. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's looked he's looked 27 since he was about 15 with that hairline. Or oh, it's on. Should have done the big switch, son. Or oh, take him on. Nicola. Uh, Nicola. It, it needed to go far. Yeah. Yeah, Pepe, bad touch as well. I mean, that's why you, you don't start for Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and he didn't get the throw. Oh, Pepe. Uh, if you're in Cote d'Ivoire, I'd like to know what you think of um, Nicola, Nicola Pepe because I don't know if it's just because he's got the Arsenal heebie-jeebies mm. or he's not he's not the guy. Like, what's the vibe with Pepe? Because remember that, that season at Lille in the Champions League? He was oh, second top this guy scoring. just... You see, now, Victor Gomes, this is this is a situation to... Ooh, yeah, to properly te- yeah. test out your refereeing skills. Yeah, he actually. railroaded him, yeah. Oh, oh okay. my god. No, the oak from behind. It's actually, that should be an Algeria ball. No, that should not be an Algeria ball. That look at the way he yeah. No, look the guy at the, the back pushed him. No, yeah, look sorry, at the yeah, feet. Sorry, oh, sorry, Ivory Coast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Quite right, quite right. Look, look at the footwork on that one. Yo, Victor Gomes is going to blow a gasket. It's, he's, you don't scream <laughs> at the players. But, yeah. Like, relax. It's, it's not four ways. Hey, he's from South Africa. He's you on the ground. The but he yeah, wants to get to the final. Yeah. Nice touch, Nicola Pepe. Nice pullback. Previous finish. Ooh. Yeah, Kese, that's class. AC Milan, yeah. box to box machine. So he's got the Luke Shaw board shorts that I was uh, telling everyone is uh, Luke Shaw obviously a little thicker in the waist. By oh, that yeah. I mean he eats too much, yeah. <laughs> but thirty two waist. But th- uh, he's got to wear thirty six because of the booty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. BBW shout out to to Luke Shaw. So uh, I love how he says that he's like oh, but. Uh, he's a bit thick on the shorts, so, and by that I mean he's fat. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, just to clear things up, maybe I wasn't being clear, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, he's been on this for a long time. I have. A long time. I know what I know. Now, let's discuss Serge Aurier's um, facial hair. Because... Wait, is that handball? Yeah, it is handball. That's fine that they've given that. But you can't have that facial hair as the captain of Ivory Coast because you, you know what that is? That's the guy who's got the number for the manager at the nightclub. That kind of hair. Yeah. And the guy who's always walking around. What do we call the man bag? I don't know what it's called. Uh, like a shoulder bag for men. Uh, right, do you know what it's called? A nurse. Is it a nurse? Uh, it was called a nurse. It's a nurse or a fanny Isn't bag. Isn't it a... Yeah, it's moon, a moon bag. Yeah, moon it's, bag. No, but Ryan didn't know it was called a moon bag. Terrible touch here. That should have been a... That was a great point. Wait, how, see how old is the coach again? Yeah, they say 45. Nah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Nah. You don't believe me, Emi? Um, Jamel Belmadi, um, folks, the coach of Algeria, it says on the most reliable thing in the world called the internet that he is um, 45 oh. years old. I think it's a lie. And the guy who's just taken a terrible touch for Algeria here, Belali, I'm glad he didn't take a good touch because he's a disgrace for faking just now. So there's a guy crying on the bench. Just like... He's not even crying. He looks just... Perplexed. Yeah, he, you know what he looks. That guy looks like he just found out that his brother and um, his wife are, are having a an illicit affair on the side. You know what I mean? Uh, gigs. Yeah, a uh, gigs. Rans, uh, Ran zero and two is coming to say I'm an Arsenal fan. Yep, as we know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pepe is simply not the guy. Not the guy. He gets the basics completely wrong. Now. Okay, so so that's an Arsenal fan saying that, right? Yes, that, that's an Arsenal fan. If you are from Cote d'Ivoire, 
uh, I'd like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Nicola Pepe? Because, you, you know, there's certain guys for their country they view differently than they are for their clubs. Because mm. we just see it through a, a lens in the Premier League. Yeah. And, I mean, I want to keep it, uh, as the gangsters say, 100. Um, Arsenal I, I haven't been the spot for a while. You yeah. know, so sometimes if you come into a situation and Pepe came in when Arsenal were bums, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know if that's affected him. Like, his vibe, you know what I mean? Like, a flair player like him needs a winning vibe, otherwise it just doesn't work. Yeah. So, I don't know if Pepe's confidence is broken at Arsenal, and sometimes we just need to change the scenery. I mean, how many times you've broken up with one girl, you go to another and you're a different man, maybe that girl was holding you back. Or guy, by the way, uh, there's lots of ladies who've been held back by lots of terrible men. Or oh, Riyad Mahrez is in the box. He's, hey. Yeah. See, the, see, he spent a season doing that at Leicester. Just dr- like putting putting defenders on their backsides. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's a great clearance. Nicola. Nicola. Ball, son. Kessie, it's on, son. Oh, what was that? It's good defending. Oh. It's good defending. But I think it took a heavy touch. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not good enough. But good tracking back by Algeria. It was a counterattack by Cote d'Ivoire. But I'd like to know from somebody from Cote d'Ivoire, what is your take on Nicola Pepe? Because we're not sure. Uh, Rans, uh, that was that Rans? Yeah, he's actually just commented again, mm-hmm. and he said, "I always love your an- uh, your analogies, MKT." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, sometimes it happens. You know what I'm saying? Peasy. Like sometimes you're with a lady, and maybe because you don't need to be bad people for a relationship to end. Yeah. Like maybe you're both good people, just in. It's just it's just not vibing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're at the wrong stages in your yeah. life. Maybe her dad's rich and he he never thinks you're gonna make it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe one of you is full of streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a, that. Is, <laughs> that's. A, <laughs> maybe one of you is full of streets. You yeah. can't deny that. But you know, a relationship doesn't need to be a disaster to break up. So yeah. sometimes maybe Pepe just needs, because a different woman can change your perspective on yourself as well. Oh, yeah. Because if your current girlfriend stops believing in you and you just change scenery and then yeah. the new lady thinks you're basically Thanos, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It can change a man's ability. You know, five o'clock in the morning doesn't seem like a disaster anymore. Yeah, no, 100%. You can get up, you've got some energy, you maybe even you're, talk you're, to your you're, family. You're jogging now. <laughs> you're like that. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. No, it does, it does change you for the better. Sometimes it does get worse. No, it does so get worse. The yeah. grass is always greener. No, no, no. It's, like, look, it's, I know we're talking about African players, but your boy Jack Grealish realized he's not the guy. No. He's, no. he's a guy, yeah. but he's not that guy. No, there's Bernardo Silva and there's Mares and there's, and there's literally Phil like Foden. And there's 11 other, or, yeah. yeah, 10 other players, and then there's Jack Grealish. Yeah, calves aren't enough is yeah, what Nancy yeah, will show you. Yeah, but is, <laughs> By the way, uh, we have another comment from uh, .u7f8. Okay, he let's... says, 1-0 with laughing faces. Uh, one, two, three, by Algeria. Yeah, they are. It's 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 a long way back here. Uh, oh, my, oh how does Siri? Okay, this is something I don't understand. He knows what the rules are. Why does Siri have a necklace on? So, folks, if you're not watching, um, they have just requested. Obviously, uh, my man here, whose dream is to be a headmaster. Shout out to uh, the guy who looks like a Bond villain. Who's the? <gasps> it's two 0 oh, It's God. unbelievable. Surely not, as the chain goes off, maybe there's some magical juju in that chain because Cote d'Ivoire are 2 0 up and Algeria now are the desert foxes all alone. They are all alone, they are destitute. There's a guy on the bench who's crying, terrible facial hair. I'm not sure who that guy was. Uh, make a choice because he's got that in between. It's not a bulky, but he's got too much hair on top for it to be a mustache. It is no good. Cote d'Ivoire oh, celebrate. Was, was Algeria not ready? Or I don't know. That, that, it just looked like he was free. He had a free header. It's, a, it's either bad defending or they weren't ready. By the way, we have some we have some more comments here just to get them. Uh, Moe Live says, uh, Cap Ivory Coast, bro. Yeah. That's so um, is that the guy who had the necklace on then? No, no, no. I think oh. I, I think he's saying we can crown them here. It's uh, it's all over. You know what I mean? They done capped them. No, they What's were totally going on ready. there? Peasy. No, that's just bad defending. Horrendous. Now, it's easy if you're from Cote d'Ivoire or anywhere else in the world, if you see Sangare scored, you're thinking to yourself, my God, not only has he recovered from a fake um, dislocated shoulder as a goalkeeper in the previous game, but no, it's not that Sangare. You're thinking of Badra Ali Sangare. Easy to confuse. This is Ibrahim Sangare with an absolutely powerful header. 
And as they teach you in PZ, in under nine football, head the ball down, son. Yeah, head it down. Head the ball down, down. son. Terrific header. Yeah. Then I just want to jump into here. Uh, U7F8 says, uh, now I'm just joking, all love to Algeria. And then he says, what do you think about Morocco? I support Morocco. So as you know, we're going through, we're probably going to get to the finals. Yeah. Um, then we have... <laughs> oh, I, oh I, I'd like to give my thoughts on Morocco. Terrible kit. Looks like a school uniform. All right. Uh, next comment, Ron. Uh, we have somebody who's recognized our uh, young Peasy over here. Okay. okay. <laughs> he says, I'm Peasy, my boy. Oh, who's that? <laughs> uh, that's uh, MKT. How Lebo we... Copa. Lebo. Oh, Lebo Coupe de Vol. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Coupe de Vol. So, I mean, who, who'd that be, um, Peasy? Uh, no, nah, Lebo Coupe is a good mate of mine. Uh, St. David's Oak? Uh, no, not St. David's Oak. Met him, uh, met him at Groove, bro. Oh. Met him at Groove. Nice. Turns out to be a lacquer oak. Yep. Uh, the ladies love him, so... So, but is he, is he rich or good looking? I mean, l- l- let's talk truth here. I mean, ladies only love two uh, things at the moment, uh, uh, especially if they're for the streets, you know what I mean? Uh, little column A, <laughs> little column B, bro. Rich and good looking? Yeah. Oh, come on. Can I call him Lebs? It, wait, hold on. So, for, for our international viewers, let me put it like this. There's levels of blackness, okay? Because there's people who go to school with people like Mpizi. They say, my name's Leborang, but you can call me Lebs. Is he one of those oaks? <laughs> or, or what are we doing here? No, no, he's not. He's okay, not, so he's, not. He, he's Lebu. Uh, no, no, no. He's, uh, no, he's still, he's, he's Leborang. Okay, so not Lebu gang, because yeah, there's no, those oaks as well. No, no, no. <laughs> Lebu right. gang. So not Lebu gang. Shout yeah, out to... Uh, okay, so shout out... I mean, he's not my boy. I don't know him, but Lebu Kopa or... Levy Cooper, could be Coops. Uh, Coop Dog. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Levy Coop Dog, who's recognized. Um, and Mo, Moe Live says, uh, tickets, bro, Ivory Coast all day. Well said, uh, Lev, 2 0. I mean, right now, yeah, no, no, we're in the money here. Um, folks, right now, it would take beyond a miracle. Like, so, so PZ, maybe you've Sorry. been to church before me, um, or, or more recently than me. What would is there anything beyond a miracle? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything beyond a miracle, but that's what Algeria are going to need here to produce the goods. It's two 0 um, and it is forty two minutes into the game. I mean, it's it's a long way back. The only way Algeria can get back into this is if they get all the players. What up to seven uh, seven players with with red cards, and then they win three two. Oh, uh, with the with the what's it? The, the forfeit. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, what's it? Five sending offs, eh? I think uh, five sending offs is, uh, yeah, so seven players. Less so, than seven players. Um, mm-hmm. is it, is seven, seven players is the least you can have on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, fifth yeah. sending off. Obviously, everyone's done it on um, FIFA when your mate's beating you 4 0 at half time, you just start getting red cards, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no, no, that, help, that helps you all. That helps you all. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I will. I'm happy to get um, five red cards instead of lose a 6 0. Especially like my. Like my nephew, like he's brilliant at FIFA because you know he's, he's only 20 now, so he hasn't even heard the word responsibility, he doesn't know how to I spell it. You were gonna say, like, he's 12, yeah. No, 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 he's just done the varsity thing. Um, yeah. yeah, so but you know, at 20, like Oaks are playing FIFA all day. Oh, yeah, you no, know what I mean? Because uh, how many classes first year? It's first year, oh, second year. Check, check at this. We have an upset old what's his name? Uh, Riyad yeah. Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez throwing a little tantrum there. Yeah, so, so Riyad Mahrez, ladies and gentlemen, for those who aren't watching, you know what Mahrez look like there? You, you know, when you send one of the boys to the, to the shop and you say, get dash. Yeah. Get a, get mixed for the drinks. Yeah. And then the guy gets the, the Mampara mix. Morris just gave one of those looks. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro. like give me, and you didn't bring chain. Are you joking? Dude, we asked for Coke. What's Kui? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on, but now you're not even trying. Yeah. So there, there are those people, though. You, you, you just, you, you know, you can't send them to the shops. Like, some people are as, as good a people as they are. Algeria in with a chance here. It's selfish from ben- Bilali. It's selfish from Bilali. Look, yeah, right, you've got two. And Mares is He's thinking... He's allowed to toss board with his hands. He's the keeper. <laughs> it's a um, pass back. So, we have Moe Live coming back in saying, the Grinch is Kessie. Mm-hmm. Then we have U7F8. What do you think about Hakeem Ziyech not playing? Um, to be honest, I'm very disappointed he's not playing because then Chelsea would start winning. <laughs> My word. So, just to be, give a bit of context there, Ryan is supporting Morocco in this tournament, and he cannot sti- stand the sight of Hakim Ziyech. So, he was caught in a, in a bit of a tough place there. 
because obviously ZH, um, for those who, who don't know and are just, just joining us, welcome to the MKT Show live watch along. Great haircuts just to come and lose uh, 2-0, <laughs> by the way, for, for Algeria there. I just got to say, while we're talking. But Ryan supports uh, Morocco, right? And obviously ZH, the big fallout, he's a bit of a, what you might call a, a, an enigmatic character, yeah. if you will. So um, Morocco said, no, we don't need that. Our, 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 our kits are like school uniform. You know what I mean? We don't need anybody getting out of hand yet. Yeah. Tuck your shirt in. Eh? So, hey, Bukhali, Bukhali, tuck that shirt in. Is that you guys over there? Yeah. What's wrong with your tie? Yeah. yeah. Like, Bukhali, don't make me come there. Yeah, don't uh, make me. Hey, bro. Prefix detention. Friday. That's it. That's, yeah, that's right, exactly right. what uh, Morocco said to him is, you're not what... You, they're like, hey... You know what, Hakim Ziyech, you're welcome to be Hakim Ziyech. You're just not welcome to be Hakim Ziyech here. Yeah. Shout out to Ivory Coast file, fouling one another, which is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> it's quite a, this is Africa. It's an interesting tactic. Uh, you ever seen a, a dodgeball? Yes. Interesting tactic, Cotton. By the way, uh, these comments are hilarious. Bold man. move, God. Bold <laughs> move. Bold move. Sorry. That's no, Jason no. Bateman, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, arrested development. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, what's the new one? Ozark. Ozark, yeah. Yeah, yeah. go ahead, Ryan. Uh, no, um... M- M- Moe Live says, uh, cheers, lads, top live. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Mo- yeah, yeah. Good to have you with us. And then uh, he <laughs> this comment kills me. He says, yeah, Marius is a bit of an ice boy. He's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a what? Yeah, a bit of an ice boy. <laughs> a little, a little cold. He cooled off. As Senzo Steba would say, he oh. cooled off. Uh, I mean, Nigerians, I tell, disaster. You should yeah. be holding your head. It's... It's calamitous. It's calamitous to say the least. Folks, we are, we're what? Um, five halves, in right? Two, we're five two. halves into AFCON. Algeria have not scored a single goal. And Algeria have scored as many goals at this tournament as I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Algeria and Bafana. Yeah. So, <laughs> in fact, yeah. I've got goals. <laughs> in, fact, so in fact, Algeria are worse than Bafana Bafana because... <laughs> My phone number haven't cost the taxpayer a cent in, yeah, in this tournament. Yeah, haven't cost the taxpayer a cent. So shout yeah. out to Algeria basically being... We're on the we're on the seven month of gold <laughs> and we're still in South Africa. We're not in Cameroon. <laughs> it's about working smart, not hard. Yeah. So shout out to My phone number uh, not qualifying now or the next six tournaments. So no, smart. No, no. We, we're coming. I'm telling you, the 2026 World Cup. Uh, oh, and then it's going to be 2030. No, but are we hosting that? No, no. Oh, I know, no. Well, then... But, there's 48 teams, I think. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If we do not make it yeah. with 48 teams, we must just cancel our football program. We play till high school, and then it's done. No, that's I, I'm, I'm totally with that. Yeah, Let, go let's take a course, go get a job. <laughs> no, no, no. no. But, because why, why do you even have a league? No. Why? No, well said. Uh, Victor Gomes, a guy whose dream, I think, is to be a headmaster at a school, the way he's talking to these footballers. <laughs> That's exactly what has, I was thinking. Yeah, That's he, hilarious. Yeah, he has just blown the whistle Shit. for half time. There's Algerians in the crowd that are going, I can't believe I've just spent my child's college fund to come from uh, Algeria to here. Uh, but we are here losing with a coach who says he's 45 years old, but he looks 63. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, the Desert Foxes, it's, it's got to be the worst day of their lives. Like, where do you go from here? I mean, you come out against these Oaks. They're going to put Zaha on at, what, yeah. Ivory Coast, 60 minutes, and then it's... And then Zaha's you... going to just make Oaks turn around like this. Nah, it's... And Ivory Coast don't even need to bring on Zaha. No, save him for the... Save him for the next game. This is scary how bad Algeria... There must be something... You know what? Often when teams are this bad, something's going on in the camp. Yeah, there, there, is, some, there is some disarray. You'll hear afterwards. I mean... Maybe maybe um, Mari said something in the change room to uh, Jamel Belmadi. He's like, listen, Jamel, you look old, bro. Like, are you stressed? Is your wife, like, giving you a hard time? What's up, bro? You're not 45. Well, how old are you? Yeah. Like, I, I play for Man City. Don't lie to me. Yeah, don't lie to me. You know what I mean? We all know how you Africans do. <laughs> You're older and change your birth certificate. Tell us the truth, bro. <laughs> Although, shout out to... No, Jamel Belmadi is from France. That's what he says. I mean... I can't trust him because he says he's 45. Folks, uh, Jamal Belmadi is the coach of Algeria. He looks about 63. Mm. He looks like he's four grandchildren in. And he says he's 45. Do me a favor, Jamal. I mean, respect us, you know? Yeah. This is Africa, bro. Like, bro, what is the incentive in life, bro? Just, just tell us the truth. We're okay. It's okay to be 63. But bro. It's like, it's all right. 63 is, it? is a new 40. <laughs> <laughs> 
So user Savage Leffa uh, says, bruh. Yeah. So I'm assuming he's agreeing with what you're saying. Then U7F8 says, they were doing good winning 35 games just to lose a team ranked 144th and now they can't win. Well said. That, that's a message to Algeria. Remember, they set that record. Yes. Uh, what was it? 35 in a row. Unbeaten. Mares, obviously, Man City, earning all of that money. Jeez. Probably hang out with Sheikh Mansour on a yacht every now and then. Yeah. And now the Oak. Listen, right now, Riyad Mahrez, because <laughs> when he gets back to Man City, obviously Oaks are going to have things to say. You know, Sterling's that guy. He's going to say, oh, Riyad, what, what happened over there? you back a little early because Mo Salah's still there, but that's why yeah. he's the biggest Arabic star. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Like, <laughs> like, you just like, imagine you get back and the first thing you see on that paper we've signed Sebastian Allaire as <laughs> Man City's new striker. They're like, fuck this I could get. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it is so if you are from Algeria how are you feeling about this I want to know uh, up north what are you guys saying should should this entire team have to walk home I mean it's not that far uh, let's have a look at a map here how far Algeria is Algeria from because Cam- Cameroon's massive by the way as a country a lot of people don't know how big Cameroon is Cameroon's big but isn't there some some desert in between no no I'm just trying to think of my geography Listen, <laughs> Jesus Christ did 40 days from what I've read in the in the good book. 40 days in the desert. I can't see why these... The Algerians are literally called the desert foxes. It's not a problem. <laughs> no, it's not a problem. They can, yeah. they can walk across. It is not a problem for them to... Ryan, a little unreasonable to make them all come? Um, no, but the thing is, right? Are they going to put a <laughs> Ghana and, <laughs> and like they must report home and apologize? Or are they just going to go back to normal life? I mean, it is half time. It's 2-0 to uh, Côte d'Ivoire. Sierra Leone, of course, um, as well, playing football. And please, yeah, I've got great news for you, bro. I've got great news for you. Oh, Sierra Leone oh. on 1-0 down. Oh, yes. Let's go. So we're in the money now. Yeah, we're in the money. We're for, in the money. <laughs> for those who don't know, um, Mpizi is in for a, a payoff of 10x on 100 rand, about 1,000 rand, you said? Yeah. 1,000 yeah. rand payout if Côte d'Ivoire win. Equatorial Guinea win yeah. and then Mali win, and then Mali win in the later game, which is very possible. Which is very possible. So, shout out to. By the way, um, Moe Live has come through and said, Tough one for Algeria today. I'd rather be in Polokwane wearing winter clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's incredible. Ryan, we need to follow that guy, by the way. What's, his name? What's his name on social media? Mm-hmm. Moe Live. Moe Live with the comment I'll, of I'll, maybe I'll, the I'll tournament. I'll give him a follow now. I'll give him a follow By now. the way, I am from Limpo. Well, my mom's oh. uh, Sepedi. You know, I'm um, obviously a mix of... Uh, I don't want to say the best tribes, but I think it speaks for itself. Also, I mean, yeah, Dante, also was, Gil Bates yeah? is, is here. I'm not, I'm not torn. I'm, I'm, I'm Petey. Oh. Yeah, no, no. You, bro, that's like... Don't make that mistake ever again. Yeah. Twanas and PDs aren't the same thing, bro. Yeah, you guys are just basically knockoff versions of Twanas. <laughs> you just slur your words. Wankushi shah. Ralo chakamoki. Wankushi. Unku unkushi shah. Are you listening? You must. You must have some respect for the. Khalima Mutkonti. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's, it's a lach. Khalima Mutkonti. It's all in. It's all in. It's, it's all love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he doesn't mean it. Don't knock off Twanos. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's Basically, awesome. Knock off Twanos or so to get off wish. <laughs> Oh, that's video. Yeah, that's video. So I do balance that out with being ex hosa or Hosa, as you know. Um, by the way, PZ. Um, I, I need this sorted out. Obviously, you are what? One one quarter closer, eh? Yeah, I think one quarter. Well, isn't your mum fully closer? What's the story? No, no, no. So Let's clear this up. My grandmother yes. is closer. On your mum's side? Uh, on my dad's side. On your dad's side. And then she married, eh? Twana. Oh, that's where things derailed. But okay, let's hear it. Yeah, so, yeah. he's So my granddad is Twana. And because you know how we work. Yeah, yeah. Whatever your the dad patriarchy. Is. Yeah, patriarchy. Which needs to be dismantled. No, no, of course, of course. We're fighting for a bit. Um, I mean, there's Carol Manana de- yeah, deconstructing yeah. the patriarchy. Yeah. Um, then there was... Uh, so then my dad, obviously, identifies as Twana. Yes. Yeah, even though he's half 
Causa. Yeah, half Causa. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously it dilutes further to me, and I'm a quarter Causa. So your mom is? My mom is Sotu. Like Moshwesh. Full. <coughs> so, but not from the Sotu, but full. But like know, from Quack Quack or like. <coughs> uh, no, no, from, um, from Ranford Team. Oh, that's proper. Th- those are the, she's first generation out of like Quackwa or wherever her second second generation. Because uh, where were where were okay? So she's proper. Uh, those who don't know the great King Mushwesh, of course, uh, from yeah, the Sotu. So she's one of those um, where then actually an L is a B. By the way, for those who who, who um, I don't know if you know that about yeah. your people is uh, uh, so I was in the Sotu, right? And um, there's there's a place that's. M A L I B A. Yeah. Sorry, an L is a D, sorry. Yeah. In like proper Sutu, in yeah. Lesotho, right? So how would you say M M A L I B A? M A L Yeah. I B A. How would you pronounce that? Uh Madabi. No, M A L. I thought you said an L is a D. No, well, no, yeah, that's, but it's spelt M A L, and I said Maliba Lodge. Oh, oh, by the way, guys, check out this goal. That is a worldie, by the way. Gane, wow. who's doing the Gareth Bale, which he actually, that, that is a trademark, by the way. Gareth Bale did trademark that celebration, so you're going to have to have to work, you're going to have to have a word oh. keeper. Oh, by the way, um, I, I don't like that, but listen, sorry, Gane is going to have to have a word with a professional golfer called Gareth Bale here because. You, you can't do his celebration. It is, he literally trademarked it. It's the heart celebration for those who don't know. It's this one here. Gareth Bale has trademarked that as one of his own, as he trademarked a GB11, by the way. <laughs> Just want to catch up on some comments here. No, please do. Right, please uh, do. So that, that's good. You must interact with the people. U7F8 says, Who do you think uh, will be in the finals? I think Nigeria and Morocco. I do think Morocco is going to be in the finals, though. What are your, what are your opinions on that? PZ, go ahead. Um, I want Senegal to be in the final. Um, I don't think they have a strong chance too. No, look, the thing is, Senegal is just trudging along. But the the one team that has really just been, well, the two teams that have been convincing are Nigeria and Morocco. Yeah. So I say Senegal with one of them. Right, Senegal facing Capo Verde, uh, Morocco against Malawi in the last sixteen. Yeah. Uh, Burkina Faso will play Gabon. Uh, those are the games that are decided. Nigeria will have the best of the third of uh, B, E, or F. Those are yet to be decided. Uh, Cameroon, obviously, the best of... In fact, Cameroon will probably p- uh, play whoever Samuel Eto says they'll play because, you know what I mean, he's mm. basically, he runs Cameroon. He's the most important man they've ever produced. Uh, shout out Roger Miller as well, but I mean, come on. <coughs> yeah. it is a, did Roger Miller win two trebles in Europe in two different positions in two seasons? I don't think so. Pep Guardiola yeah. said to Samuel Eto, hey, why don't you get the hell out of here? I want to bring Zlatan in here. Zlatan said, all right, I'm going to come here. And then Eto said, I'll show you. I'll go play left back for Mourinho. And <laughs> yeah. how, how do you feel about that? Yeah, how do you feel about you are, that? How do you and your bald head feel about that? Yeah. I'm Samo Eto. You better believe that. And <laughs> Eto will tell you, I'm way better than Didier Trogba. <laughs> they had a bit of a battle at a stage. I don't know if you remember that. Jeez, they, yeah, they had some words. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, and now, sure it, was, it, was, it was friendly. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's somewhat like a friendly little rivalry. You know, if you are up up uh, in the northwest of Africa, you know, West Africans. So my sister went to uh, Varsity, where this shirt's actually. This is from Cote d'Ivoire. This mm-hmm. is not like one of those I bought in Santon. And oh, draw, yeah. like a, I don't call this African print. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know how you guys in the northern suburbs of Joburg, like, oh, I like that shirt. Like that is that African print? print? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no this, this, is, this is just. Print. Yeah, this yeah. is it was this is print from Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not it's not trying to look cool. Yeah. for your for your new white girlfriend, Melissa. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, babe, should I do that? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, we've got a PZ traditional wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <actually. laughs> we have to look the part, actually. Right? <laughs> Yeah, so it's not that. Shout yeah. out to... <laughs> also, I feel like if a piece is having a traditional wedding, that just means like a wedding somewhere in Santa. Ah, wow. <laughs> wow. All protocol, all Tswana protocol will be observed. No, 100%. I'm actually 100%. wearing Tswana colors, right? But it'll be, it'll 100% be in Santa. Yeah. Be in Santa. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you're, but Tswana's hot, bro. It's right, 50 if degrees. you think that... Yo, oh, you don't know the North The North West... <laughs> So when you're sweating at 3 a.m., just sweating, <laughs> yeah. no blanket, just... yeah, 
Nah, like, those, those on TV, though. No, you yeah. go to Sun City. I mean, you, like, Sun City is just the highlights package of how hot the Northwest can get because you're yeah. really starting to just get into the Northwest. Yeah, there. and the thing is, Sun City has aircon. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, so, you, shout out Salt Coast now. When you go to the rurals, huh, yeah. well, there's no aircon but a window. And then you're fighting mosquitoes. Jeez. Ooh. No yeah, electricity. These, yeah. really, these mosquitoes are just looking for cool air as well. Yeah. yeah. They're not, they don't want to bite you. You just they just want somewhere cold. No, they travel in packs. They really? they, they they really want it. So my like to so my mom's from uh, Limpopo or Polokwane, as oh, that gentleman said. Geez. So it's Even the same less. kind of heat vibe, if not worse, because yeah. it gets humid up there as well. And like you say, those mosquitoes are. It's, you know, you might say they're rabble rousers. Yeah, they're, they're not really there to take any blood. They just. They're there to cause havoc. Yeah, they're rapscallions. <laughs> they are. They are. They yeah. are. The lowest of the lowest in, in, in the yeah, animal they're society. Just there because it's hot in the shade. <laughs> That's the worst yeah. part about like Northwest. And uh, I went to Limpopo once. It's beautiful province, but hot. Yeah. Yo, super hot. So that comment, by the way, okay, Ryan, can you just have that comment about Polokwane again? I absolutely loved it. So my mom lives there now. She's come home and uh, I, I love it and I totally get it. Uh, so Moe Live says, tough one for Algeria today. I'd rather be in Polokwane wearing winter clothes. There it is. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that. Now. Isn't it incredible? <laughs> he, he, he's going to hose himself. That's outstanding. People on the internet are outstanding. Oh, yeah. Have we followed Joey Live back yet? Uh, Moe Live. Oh, Moe Live. Live. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. sorry no, I, I just gave him a follow now. All right. So uh, where's the, um, Moe Live, eh? Yeah, yeah, and he thinks uh, your knockoff Twana's joke is hilarious. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That, that, that wasn't Peasy. Oh, uh, and Peasy's one. Putting not re, uh, not putting respect on our name. It's hilarious. Um, to, oh, G- that was um, Gervinho. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Great forehead, that guy, Gervinho. Um, and I can... Oh, this Mo is a Salah. dope advert, by the way. It is a dope advert. Uh, shout out to TikTok. Yeah. Uh, who are official partners with the MKT show. Now, some people may say, I should say, we're official partners with TikTok because they're a little bit bigger than us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe no, I... Only a little. Only a little. No, I think they'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, I, saw, I, saw, I saw TikTok for... I, I looked at some TikTok... TikToks? Yeah. Is that, is that what the... No, I think that's for? the terminology. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's yeah. one, one TikTok. One TikTok... Benny TikTok. But it's I mean? also, it's TikTok also, and TikTok, <coughs> and TikTok toe. Yeah. yeah, TikTok toe. Yeah. Or a group of TikToks. No, sure. That's, that's a, it's the collective now. <laughs> Say, oh, geez, that's a lot of TikToks. No, no, no. TikTok toe. <laughs> but um, it was the, it was the shut up mom challenge. Oh my God, guys, you need to watch this when you get home. So it's, uh, is it mom, what I think it is? A mom and the kid yes. playing a prank on the dad. So the kid says to the mom, mom's like, hey, go take out the trash. The kid's like, shut up, mom. Yeah. And you just see the dad's reactions. There was one guy who literally heard shut up, and he just started walking, and he starts taking off his belt. <laughs> There's one guy, another dad, who literally said to his wife, never play that game again, because you're going to get your son's ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys have thrown things at him. Yeah. It is it is hilarious. Yeah, that's outstanding. That, that is one thing that I, I enjoyed on the ticker top. Although, I mean, I, I can't wait to watch that. But i, I got to tell you, all oh, this defenders in trouble. Sebastian Allaire, who is the leading goal scorer in the Champions League. So certified, legit. Uh, West Ham probably shouldn't have sold them so quickly is what they're probably thinking over there. I mean, I like Mikel. Mm. What is going on with the marking? It's going to be three. No, 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 no. no. Terrible. I, I hope he's miskicked that and he hasn't yeah. gone for goal. Because if he has gone for goal, Didier Drogba is probably going to send them an email it's a, it's to say your passport <laughs> it's going to be an email is a disgrace. <laughs> disgrace. <laughs> That's all it's going to be. Uh, okay. That's excellent. But something that happened to me was sort of the first time going to South African white friends' houses was the first time I heard anyone talking back to their mom, like in a high voice, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I, like I, I grew up in a rural, like both my parents um, are, are from rural Limpopo and rural Eastern Cape. There's a bit of a melee in the middle of the park there that uh, Mr. Gomes, I know, will love dealing with because he wants to be a headmaster, you know? Oh, no, it's oh. selfish. You've got the top goal scorer. No, bro, it's because this guy has a vibes haircut. What, who yeah. is this guy? It's for vibes only. No, number 15. I'm sorry, was it offside or not? No, it wasn't offside because it didn't. It came off an Algeria guy. Uh, I think he was. Yeah, he was. Well, that's that's off the Algeria guy. I don't know why it would be offside. That doesn't make sense if the ref's given that linesman. 
No, that's a oh. poor decision because it came off the Algeria guy. So what are we doing here? Um, but who's 15? Uh, Gradel. Mats Gradel. Come on, boy. Cross that. No, you know, no, 100%. you got the top goal scorer in Champions League football, yeah. European Champions League yeah, football. Yeah, but you know he's good for it. You know it's he's not, good for it. It's, it's not the time for vibes. Yeah. So this guy who is walking to the stretcher and voluntarily sitting down on the stretcher is a ridiculous human. I mean, he's got the... This is a hybrid <laughs> haircut of Alex Song at the end. You remember when he was, he was losing yeah, his yes, mind? Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Alex Song, who's just come out and admitted that at Arsenal, when he was earning £80,000 a week, he was broke. It's, it's just unbelievable to you to hear some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, like when celebrities say the pirated movies ruins their things? Like, yeah. Yeah, sorry, you only made $100 million from this movie instead of 120 Maybe go invest your money as well. Yeah, you, yeah. So stop. You don't Make need your money work for you. You don't need to be like um, Alex Chakwane. Uh, if you don't know who that is, ladies and gentlemen, he's called Mr. Goldfingers. I don't know if you know who that is. PC, you might be a bit young. No, Former Sundowns PRO. Along, uh, so there was a time when there was a guy called Pat Komafane in South African football. Mm. Uh, folks, you'll have to excuse us. It's 2-0 to um, Cote d'Ivoire here. I mean, it's not really a, a contest at the moment. Riyad Mahrez uh, looks like a schoolboy who left his... Uh, his space case at home and he doesn't know what to do at at school. He's trying to organize a pen because he's got a cycle test. You know what I'm saying? Peasy. So, so no good. He's but can lost. I say this is just making like Algeria look so They're, bad. It's but so wait, right. Bad. Here's what's making Algeria look bad. That guy's not 45. Their coach is not. <laughs> so folks, jump online and let me know. Jamel Belmadi. Go and look him up. D-J-A-M-E-L-B-E-L. M-A-D-I, Jamal Balmadi, the coach of Algeria, says he's 45. And if, you know what? If he's 45, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. He's a liar. He's, or, or what Donald Trump might call fake news. Serge Aurier with the ball! Oh, Sebastian Allaire should probably get there. Gradel keeps it in. Twinkle toes. Vibes haircut. Jinx left. Terrible, Terrible cross. cross. Terrible cross. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like, a, it's almost the equivalent of, it's the equivalent of giving your, your girlfriend a nice Valentine's gift, <laughs> but then still uh, crashing the car the next morning. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. you you got to execute uh, all the way. Oh my it's God. a terrible touch. It's it's really a terrible touch. Sebastian Ole is being igno ignored. I think is maybe... By the way, um, we have some comments here. U7, uh, F8 is Hakimi 100. Yeah. So, Boss. yeah. Boss. Oh, boss, man. Yeah. Uh, then we have Keviasi says, greetings to you all. Good evening, sir. <clears throat> Hello, good chap. That's all. Well, he's yeah. not more formal. So, no, uh, yeah, was, no, you, you have to switch it up. You know what I mean? Woo! If that went in. I yeah, was leaving. I was leaving. If, oh. if Serge Aurier scored that, you, yeah. and you know he's going to bring the, the African... Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's celebrating hard. Yeah. Let's talk about that disappointment level. Oh, that's also that's a ripper, eh? Yes. Great technique. He's ripped that. By the way, uh, Tottenham and P former PSG right back. A lot of people don't remember that. Before PSG, obviously got every single oil field in the world as their ownership group, except um, the one that Fun City. Yeah, and and now Newcastle. Newcastle. I think and it's possibly Inter. <laughs> yeah. They're about to buy that as well. Is it the same Oaks that PLC fund? Uh, yeah. Um, PLC. shout out to Amanda Stavely, who is clearly. A Bond villain, as we can see. She's yeah. way too good looking to have that much money and power. Uh, it's it's clear. She's probably put a bomb underneath, the, uh, I don't know, like America or whatever. She is a Bond villain. It's, yeah. it's a given. We're going to need Pierce Brosnan to come back and save us because the Daniel current Craig guy... Can't no, do it. no, Daniel Craig, he looks like a bouncer in a suit. And I, I can't have that as my Bond. You know what I mean? I need him to be slim, <coughs> slim and smooth. It's, it's, it's embarrassing to have Daniel Craig oh, as oh, a... It's, it's four I'm, on three. I think these guys, what are they going to do? It's, just it's a ball by Pepe. Oh, it's word. a terrible pullback by Sergio. It's Nicola Pepe oh, to see oh, it. Come on, go again, go again, go again, go again. Nicola Pepe. Oh. You see, this whole like ordeal of these guys just calling fouls all the time, they just look pathetic. They do. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do. No, it looks, looks terrible. Like... Take yourself seriously, Yeah, like, yeah this, is, this is not grade school. This you, is AFCON. You're you, the former champions. That's what I'm saying. You know, I wake up in the morning, I put some underwear on, you know, I put my pants on. Yeah. I take a shower before I do that, obviously. Yeah. I take myself seriously. Why aren't Algeria taking us seriously? Yeah. Like, call it once, and it is what it is, call it twice. But now, when you're calling every single possibility, chance that, you know, Ivory Coast are, are getting, yeah. now close to a foul, 
What you're just saying is you're bad losers. No, I'm with you. I mean, you can't you can't say to your girlfriend, "I promise you, I'll make the next date." When it's the it's the thirteenth time you've been late. You know what I mean? Riyad Mahrez. Oh, oh, that got physical, but luckily, uh, yeah, Siri is from Cote d'Ivoire, so he had the physicality because he, he obviously had Joloff for breakfast. <laughs> He's got that toughness in his bones, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go Joloff, there's Don't nothing you can do. start with the Joloff now, the comments are loud up. Oh, that's a great ball. Listen, let me tell you something. Fried <clears throat> oats, we have to go to Ivory Coast just so you guys can have... It's fried bananas. I forget. I think it's coconut Plant- oil. Isn't it plantains? No, no, no. Plantain. Different story. I'm oh, talking okay. about yams now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, plantains, yams. That's a whole different vibe. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Got to fry that. But fried bananas, but they do it in like it's, it's street vibes. Yeah. It's it's actually unbelievable. It should be legal, that stuff's so nice. Because I've had fried bananas before. Yeah. Went in. That was in Mozan. Or we, 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 or here. It was my mate's dad actually cooked it. Yeah, in Johannesburg. Uh, well, no, yeah. he probably fried it with olive oil though, or, or something no, low no. fat. No, no, he fried <clears> it, fried it with uh, butter. Um, no, a little bit of sacred or some honey. Yeah, you see, I, I knew it. I knew it was a elovo, yeah, like also, a private I think it was school version. Cheese as well, no, you yeah. see, that's that's not what Very we're talking about. School. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Look at this. He needs to get the corn at least. <laughs> oh. Hey. Some sauce there, son. Uh, hey? meat just sauce, bro. A little bit cheeky, a little bit cheeky, because <coughs> Conan, the barbarian, my mate. Conan the barbarian, of course. If you, hey, that guy was going for a bit yeah, of yeah, uh, uh, going for a little bit of an argy bodgy, bro. No, it's not the time. But yeah. uh, yokes are getting slammed, absolutely slammed. Um, Ishmael Silamani, the man who went to Leicester, I think, for about forty million, didn't quite work out for him. Is on the pitch, and Algeria now realised that. Ben Rama, because West Ham are doing terribly, is sulking. Oh, Ale, you should put him through. Oh. Nicola oh, Pepe come on, can come end on, it all. Come on. He's Nicola done too Pepe. much. Oh! Three, oh! Algeria, Look at that. the Desert Foxes. Nicola, Pepe and the entire team come on the field. Jesus. Incredible. This is, this is actually just embarrassing. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, at what point do we just tell Algeria to go home? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this is what's called exiting the WhatsApp group. Uh, <laughs> Algeria have not exited the WhatsApp group without telling anyone why it is a terrible situation here. Wilfred Zaha isn't even on. Uh, uh, obviously, the headmaster, who is Victor Gomes, telling the um, Cote d'Ivoire players to get off the field. Algerian tears now coming. It looks like some of the Algerians actually got a tan before the game. Looks like they're at the pool. Maybe you should have been practicing, guys. Uh, you guys are terrible. You haven't scored a goal. It's three goals against them now in this game. Ivory Coast, Nicola Pepe with uh, what people are calling Liverpool selfishness. Mo Salah hasn't passed a football um, in, in 10 years, really. Also, did you check that little fake thing? Yeah, like the, little, the little, little fakey that he had. Yeah. yeah, he does give it uh, the defenders on his knees. Do that. Ta- uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, boy. Man, Shout out ta- to the Algerian defender. Obviously, being Arabic, he would be praying to Allah that we can come back from 3-0. It ain't happening. Uh, Allah's probably said, no way. It's not for this one, pal. I actually need to save my miracles for other stuff. This is crazy. You guys are terrible. I mean, you know, <laughs> in order for Allah to work, you got to work as well. I'm sorry. Algeria haven't even tried yet, bro. I, yeah. I, I, Allah doesn't just work for free. It's not, yeah. not your mom. There's no more. Can't get no more free, right? You know what I'm saying? No. God, God, God doesn't work for free. You got to work first, pal. So yeah. Algeria, maybe you score <clears> one goal. <throat> you know what I mean? Or maybe you have a shot in target. Yeah. Do you still not have a shot in target? Not this game. Oh, do they know that? Have they even talking? had a shot? Yeah. No, they've had some shots, but I know they've been off target. But Well, let's have a look here. We've got stats, which is short for statistics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. <laughs> Kevi Asi says, wow, Pepe. Yeah, it's three. It's it's all over. Put some youngsters. Oh, that ball. Gradel is through. Oh, Ladies now and they're just having fun with it. Look at it. No, yeah. no, no, no. That, that, that oh. handball. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gradal's touch is the worst thing you have ever seen. It's the worst thing Africa's possibly ever seen. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, what was that touch? Yeah. No, oh, Gradal. I mean, he's embarrassed himself, his mother, his aunt who used to drive him to practice when he was six. You know he's what I mean? He's three goals, otherwise his yeah. mom wouldn't be allowed. No, there'd be a conversation. Now, the, the pastor would be saying... Is this the kind of son you've raised? Don't come to my church. You need to find a new parish. You know Speaking of church, check out these guys from the Ivory Coast. All of their mothers are going to be sitting courtside. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Oh. When these guys make it five, right, they are actually running the sermon. Their mothers are running the sermon on Sunday uh, in Cote d'Ivoire. 
Ab- Abidjan, if you will. <clears throat> Abidjan hot as well. Busy, don't play around. Mm. Ivory Coast, boiling hot. That place is not for the faint of heart. If you think Limbobo's hot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but don't boy. worry. I'm going to... Oh, my gosh. Dog. Dog, boss. That's Belali, who's faked again. Yeah, come on, dog. Did he, did he give oh, it? Up, bro. Oh, no, no. He's given oh, a pin up. Oh, no. Oh, and he smiles, does the headmaster. No, 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 no. No yeah. ways. Yeah. Yo, can we, can this ref tone it down a bit? Like, he's a bit... No ways. Oh, dude. And this is Belali. Remember I told you yeah. guys, he, he got, he's the one who faked... And it's the same guy who... He literally who, ran into him. He was screaming no, before he even touched him. No, Ref. You, you, you see, if, if Victor... Okay, nice nutty... No, <laughs> he man. He was screaming before he even touched him. No, 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 no. 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 Belali deserves a yellow card. No, dude. That is simulation. No, it's embarrassing. Go to VAR. This ref, yeah, yeah, no. The thing is, right? I think someone needs to call uh, VAR on this one. Because this guy, he's running with his decisions and his... Decisions only. What's the name of this guy again? Victor South African? Gomes. Victor Gomez. Victor Embarrassment. I mean, it is ridiculous. Go to VAR. That's not a penalty. Moe Live says, get out. Penalty. <laughs> oh, no. He's saying penalty with a uh, with, uh, yeah, it's question like, marks. Like, hysterical. Get out. Go away. Victor Gomes says, guys, I've applied to be the headmaster of St. David's. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, at the moment, no, I'm no, riffing here. Terrible Cameroon. judgment. We don't like that, Eddie Nanda. No, you, we won't have it. Sangare saying, hey, you saw I dislocated my shoulder in the last game. I didn't really. I was just embarrassed about what happened. This is... That is ridiculous. I can't believe he's not going to VAR, bro. They're even saying, Marius, can you just... Like, can you for just, God's sake, like... Bro, come on, be a good egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, we know you eggs are struggling. Yeah. But come on, don't, don't, Yo, don't we, score like we this. We know you shady shits, but not like, like this. Don't, don't, don't oh, score man. like this. Not like or. this. So what, and they've given this penalty? See, D Brock's the, uh, sorry, I don't know if that's how, so he says, how is that a penalty? No, I come agree. on. Riyad Mahrez obviously doesn't want to be embarrassed um, when he goes back to Man City and Bruno Fernandes says, or, or uh, Bruno, what's it, Silva? Yeah. Uh, Bernardo Silva says, hey, bro, what happened? I mean, I thought you were, you were good at football. <laughs> you guys lost 3-0. You guys didn't score a goal for for three games. Unbelievable. So Mares will get a goal here. Ultimately, it's half an hour. They'd need to score four goals in the next half an hour. Man, I don't know what God... I, I mean, it is Allah that they're going to be praying to. I don't know if he's on. He's working that hard. You know what I'm saying? Unless he's... Um, what's it? Ky, uh, what's Kylie Jenner? Well, well, Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. Only Chris Jenner can save Algeria now. She works the hardest of all of them. So I think somebody who's watching has a feed that's more live than us because he's already saying that it's a miss. Well, let's hope so. If there's a, if there's justice, and then, Mares, and he's missed oh it. No, God. it's justice. It's justice. No, I'm sorry. It's justice. He's hit the post, and I'm delighted. I couldn't be happier. I also hope this is Victor Gomes' last game ever refing in professional football. This is ridiculous, bro. And um, then yeah, why yeah. is that a foul? Oh God! Oh, yeah, God. No, no, this is just he's pathetic. Got this money on this the is game, just bro. pathetic. The only South African. Yeah. At Fcon. Oh, oh, although you you might say he's producing a South African performance on the big stage. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. He's disappointing everyone. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what, I'm busy. Ultimately, he's disappointing himself. Yeah, he's and disappointing that's the himself. Yeah. yeah but is there anything more South African? Unbelievable. Big stage, you know, you think, that, oh, hey, here's your chance to go to Qatar. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's probably Infantino. We saw him. He was sitting next to Samuel Eto and the first lady of, um, of Cameroon. And uh, so Infantino is there and he's going, jeez, like, this country's not even here. No wonder. Uh... Kevi Yassi oh. says, yes, yes, he misses it. D. Brock's, uh, B, uh, what? D. Brock's diet says, uh, didn't Algeria win that other tournament thing? I can't remember. Well, they do, they won this tournament in particular. It's just not this and one. And they're losing, sadly. Yeah, yeah. So, th- so they're actually what you might call the defending champions. Also, uh, what a pathetic penalty from Mares. Well, r- professional. Look, you went, you went for side netting. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a tough one, but <laughs> keepers never touch it. <laughs> No. Uh, did he, did he see this? Murray Live says Mario's needs to be benched at City for that. Yeah. No, he's gonna get back, and Pepper's gonna say, "Look, yeah, I saw you play. I've got, I've got a 4K TV in my house. Yeah, I've got a 4K TV, <laughs> and uh, Nicola Pepe. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we worked uh, out a deal with that <laughs> small. <laughs> and uh, you know, you fly to London in a couple of hours, dude. So back your shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, well, it's brilliant. So, yeah, look, Riyadh, it's been awesome, bro. Yeah, but real talk, obviously, you would keep Maris. Yeah. No, you would keep Maris, but I mean, still, you can't be missing that. Oh, oh here we go. Touch by Ale. That's how you become the top goal scorer in Champions League. <clears throat> hold up play. Uh, Romelu Lukaku must watch this tape because that's why, how you do hold up play, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, did you see that thing about Lukaku? What's he um, saying now? If Lukaku is Tupac shooter. Oh, yes. Oh, Bro, oh. when I saw that, I was like, it's enough internet for the day. We're into bed. Bro, There's no me. way. I saw it early in the morning. I was like, geez, this Bro. is what the day starts with. Ah, I can't wait for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the rest. So for those who don't know what's happening there, is obviously there's that aging app that you can put on as a filter. And uh, Romelu Lukaku after Chelsea um, wet the bed against uh, Brighton. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And Lukaku missed just about every chance. As they say... Um, Lukaku couldn't hit the water if he fell out of a boat. You know what I'm saying at the moment. <laughs> so, obviously that, that happened. That's a great one. <laughs> I'm so using that one. Yeah. But, um, by the way, we have a, we have somebody in the comments here who says it's his birthday tomorrow. D. Brox Dite. Okay. Before I say happy birthday, <clears throat> I obviously got to ask a few questions. I don't just yeah. hand out, I hope you're well or I hope yeah, you're doing yeah. well. Um, how old are you turning? Yeah. Where do you live? And have you told the boys? Oh, yeah. No. The, the, the first people that know, because you assume your, your parents know. Yeah. Even though they always forget. Yeah. Like yeah once yeah. you hit like 19, yeah. I think your parents forget about your birthday. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's just standard procedure. No, they've booked a yeah. holiday yeah, already. They, they, a they already, holiday. like, oh, mom, I'm, I'm home. I hope you guys got my favorite meal. Oh, yeah. well, what do you mean? We're at the airport. Yeah, we're at the airport. <laughs> Okay, so he's replied. He says he's turning 15. Okay. He's in Kenya. All right. And he's told the boys. Uh, then oh, happy okay. birthday. Then, happy then birthday. it's lit. Then you're about to go to whatever equivalent of Groove yeah. in Kenya. No, well, um, and, and I'd like to know, you know, in Kenya they say, because, uh, uh, listen, you go to uh, Kasimu, right, at the coast. Oh, oh my word. Groove. Groove. Uh, have I not told you about Kenyan people? You just told me that they... No, it's a net... They, 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 wow. <clears throat> you know, when South Africans get to a 10 of like, whatever, we on, we lit. There's an extra level that they unlock. The Super oh, Mario yeah. stage, the bonus stage, yeah. that isn't accessible to South Africans yeah. is for Kenyans. So, um, shout out to Debrox. I hope you have the greatest day of your life, bro. I hope um, whatever it is you're up to. I mean, what are you doing? FIFA tournament? I mean, you're 15. You can't really be wiling out uh, to the final level, obviously. You can't be encouraging that, you know, especially as a... As an East African, Kenyans, very, very serious about education there. It's not South Africa where you can just muck about, you know what I mean? And uh, shout out to you, d -Brox. I hope you have the time of your life. I hope, you know what I hope, you know what I hope happens? Because it's the weekend as well. So I hope they have a FIFA tournament. That Because that's what, that that yeah. back when I was 15, FIFA tournament with six or seven gents at the spot. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, can we just have a look at this challenge real quick? Back when you was 15. Look at that. Well, back when I was 15, Nicola Pepe just had his uh, right leg. Nearly removed by an Algerian person with long hair. But now, is the South African ref ref gonna actually ref properly, or what's? Because no, now it looks like he just got away with it. Like I told you, I think Victor Gomes has put in his application to be a headmaster. The way he's talking to these players, so he's On thinking the American about American school, yeah, Algeria. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you reckon he's applied to a school in Algeria? That's why he's giving them the court. So, but no, for FIFA tournaments, I had one last year. No, you joking? FIFA, yeah, FIFA tournaments. Oh, and I won because Man City is a lie. Yes. In FIFA 20, 20 yeah, FIFA 21. Yeah. Man City is a lie. How many guys did you have there? I mean, we had. Wait, wait, but I, I have a question. My friends also do FIFA tournaments, but how do you do them? Do you guys pick teams out of a hat? Or do you guys have each your team and then you just sort of go into the tournaments, maybe two or three teams oh, each? So what we do is we we <clears throat> draw like numbers and those are that choose like that's your, your draft pick of teams basically. Okay. Yeah, because how how many teams? Uh so the last one we had was last one we had I think it was twelve guys or twelve or sixteen guys. That's awesome. Yeah. No, and there was oh, there was one guy Wayne. You know when guys are just dribbling, yeah. <laughs> one nil, yeah. and just dribbling with defenders. We were just like yo, played Wayne in the semi final. I just pass, 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 goal, pass, 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 goal. I want two one. See, and even even D D Brox over here, he says uh, he draws his teams out of a hat. Okay, yeah. so he's so already organized with the boys. I like that. He's fifteen. And he's got a plan. Yeah. Because the last thing you need at fifteen is to be talking to your parents. So let's say, um, when did D Brox say his birthday is today? Or tomorrow. 
Okay, so what what you can't afford to do, especially let me speak to my own home as a you can't talk to black parents on the last minute because they don't play that action. Or certainly my yeah. parents didn't. No, no, they they play that action with you. You can't play that action. Yeah, no, no, yeah. they'll tell you after the fact, actually. Yeah. 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 The, but with us, I know I tell my mom, if I'm doing bad work three days before, yeah, here's what I expect. And that way she can manage my expectations yeah. as to her effort level in and around what I expect. And nobody's upset here. So, d I hope you've already told your parents and the boys already. Because yeah. you can't be planning tomorrow. You yeah. can't pitch up with your mates at your house and now your mom's saying, tomorrow. I've and got the church group tonight. Yeah, and remember, you you, you, don't, have, you don't have racks. Yeah. You know? Although you could be working at 15, shout out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, could be a, uh, it could be selling iPhones on the side. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta buy snacks. You gotta prepare. You gotta do all of these things. Yeah, yeah you can't have a FIFA tournament yeah. with no snacks, right? You ever had one of those disasters happen in your life? You get like people are always keen to host FIFA events, and then they like bring your own stuff. I say go to hell, bro. If you're gonna host a tournament, you know you gotta have uh, as Big Shack says, uh, the facilities, big man. You get me? I, I, with my friend group, everyone just buy like whoever's hosting has the snacks. Yeah, but you bring your own drinks. Yeah, because you, obviously at your age, unlike uh, Deep Rocks, who who can't bring. Um, he obviously can't bring a little tequila, a little something to take the edge off uh, at 15. <laughs> so in Kenya, in Kenya, obviously, he can't have a Tusker. So Tusker, heavy beer as well. That will dribble you. Do not think Tusker is a cast of light, bro. you got to you got to go easy on those Tuskers. They the will... Non-alcoholic version. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, they're, they're not gay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, D-Brox shouldn't know this information. He's Oaks 15. Also, yeah. he just said... Uh, Serge Aurier he, is he, celebrating. Doing the, the, the fist pump already. He says, I'm coming off Habib Maiga. Is coming on, and my ego's got that. Um, I'm, a, I'm the guy at the club line in his head, you know oh, what I mean? Okay, so. Uh, can we just inform someone here, MKT? Uh, U7F8 says, Did Algeria score zero goals this whole AFCON at this yeah. moment? We're 68 minutes into their third game, and um, U718 is it? Um, U7F8, yeah. oh, you F8, yes, absolutely. You are, you couldn't be more correct. Uh, oh okay. my gosh! Uh, watch your shoulder. Also, also, Sangare, be I, careful. Geez. I just want to point out how much this guy looks like Onana, by the way. Who's that? This keeper. It, he looks like Onana. Well, the Cameroon keeper Sangare, who's the man who faked a shoulder injury after making one of the most <laughs> embarrassing errors in the history of football. Um, he looks like Onana if you compressed him with one of those hydraulics presses. <laughs> so he's, he, he, he is um, really Kepa Balaha compared to uh, Mendy, if you know what I mean, in height. So I, I hear what you're that. saying. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's my birthday on Saturday. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, like, we are talking about um, D. Brox's birthday. Yeah, but no. you have a birthday man now. You said you were starting tonight. That's why I said to MKT. I don't know if you're starting early. Oh, no, you come no, here. Don't, don't worry, bro. You said I'm starting Thursday, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now I'm, I'm starting today. So, is, oh, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna go, gonna go to Saint after this. That's a foul, right? Uh, yeah. Don't That's know, a foul. don't know what's cracking on Friday. Yeah. Saturday greenhouse. Sunday, drawing a bit of golf with the buggers. Yeah. Uh, for the start of the day, and then after that, we'll see where the the street takes us. Don't worry, I've chatted to my boss already. He's, yeah, he's going to let me off when I want to go off. <laughs> now, his boss, ladies and gentlemen, is actually... Uh, let's see if we can get um, PZ on camera there, uh, Ryan. That is his boss. So, he works for himself. He's, he's had to have negotiations. So, what do you do there? Set up the mirror and go, now nah, look, pal. Your work performance this year. Not what, not what we need. No, so, uh, I'd have to put in a request. Uh, okay. A request form. That request form goes through to... To, um, to management, senior. yeah, yeah. Uh, seniors review it, look at the reasoning. Uh, should they want to have a conversation with you, they can, mm -hmm. and then they just click approve if they approve. Boom, bobs are open. Oh, this is awesome. I mean, uh, this is a man who who is creating a circumstance where he's actually the HR, the finance department, and the operations department. All of the things that he's just told you is all running through him. He is his own boss. He has his own company. It's incredible. So you spoke to the oak upstairs, yeah. and you said, look, yeah. I'm only born once a year, yeah. really, no, if, you, yeah. if you think about it. Yeah, I can only celebrate my birth once a year. Sure. Yeah. Well, I can celebrate it all the time. No. <laughs> just the day I want to celebrate it. It's well, it's justified to, to, to be what the, what the thugs in the street call wiling out once a year. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So sometimes you got, hey, sometimes it be that way. Sometimes it be that way. So, yeah, sometimes it be that way. So, um, you seven... Uh, U7 F8 says, damn, that's tough. Zero goals. Yeah. Moe Live says, uh, Algeria using too much R1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit of R1 on the PlayStation there. So. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. It is possible That's to hilarious. do too much. That is fantastic. So Murray Live's a bit of a bit of a character, this guy. Yeah, no, he says uh, he also just uh commented now, he says uh that conversation was perfect. <laughs> Uh, incredible stuff. Um, so I just want to get back, uh, quickly finish off on Debrox. Seems like he's got a bit of a plan. Um, yeah. He says, I had to persuade my dad a lot. That's That means he's obviously... He's, uh, he's cut grass, washed cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, he's done the whole shebang. He's yeah. done the whole shebang. Because you know what you got to do with black dads as well? Um, Ryan, I don't know if it was the same in your house, but black dads are happy to be sitting on their... Obviously, they've got their sofa in the house. Oh, yeah, it was this way in my house. It was yeah. always... It's a one-seater that's like... 90 years old mm. it's the, the paint's already off it's it's, it's terrible yeah. it's always off like it's always off whatever the rest of the lounge is yeah it's never the same as the rest of the lounge his 100%. chair and the remote is right here so oh, for those who can't see the remote is there, there's a side table here yeah, and, and the remote's there. remember back in the day when guys i just want to point out to you something i've got some comments do you have to watch the screen Oof. hold on Hold on, because I think we're on a bit of a lag here. Yeah, we oh, do yeah, have a bit of a lag. Great ball, oh, goal, and well it's been it's Belali. No, it's no. not. It's some other guy who has scored. Well this, done. this guy looks like he's. This guy is is that D Brox there? Like, this guy looks fifteen. Who yeah, just scored? Yeah, the guy who scored is D Brox. <laughs> yeah, D Brox is actually. He says he's Kenyan, but he actually plays for Algeria, Algeria. at the age of fifteen. It's a, uh, that's an unbelievable cross. Yeah. Algeria have gotten a 15-year-old. Not sure if it's legal to pull a 15-year-old out of school to come and score you goals because the rest of your Man City superstars are absolutely terrible. Uh, but it is 3-1. The Desert Foxes say, we are terrible, but we're not the most terrible you can be, which is zero goals. So shout out to them defending their title by scoring one goal. And that goal was scored by... Let's have a look-see here. He's so young, they can't actually legally register his name. Um, it is... He's using his brother's uh, passport. Ben De Becca. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, going to no. be Oh, no. Oh, no. Number 20. Are these guys serious? Number 20. Oh, What's no, your name, him. pal? You're a look, bit of a... Oh. You're, you're, you're not a good oak, as we say here in the Republic of South Africa. Not a good oak. Um, number 20 for Algeria is oh, not oh, a good person. Yusuf Atal. I mean, get it together, bro. Get it together. Moe Live has just commented saying uh, the comments are a bit of a spoiler. My dear Steve's on that back foot. Don't worry. We, we, we feel that here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Ryan, you, you shouldn't tell us. Maybe you should uh, use, you know, a bit of discretion as well on your part. As much as you want to tell us, uh, maybe you should hold it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't want you missing the action. So. No, but uh, it eventually will catch up and then I'll see the goal and then it's a live response. Because now... No, but you see, that's the problem, bro. We, we well, might, well, Ryan... Oh, here we go. Algeria, trying to be good at football. I mean, it's three games too late, but here goes Mares. Also, D. Brox is just says, sorry, his life's a bit forward. You know no, what I mean? No, no, he doesn't have to be sorry. <laughs> we can control it. <laughs> it's his birthday. Oh, well, his life can't be forward. His life That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. no. That's not He's true. living in the future. No, no, no. In the future. Excuse me, you guys are in denial. He's That's not his fault. We have... Oh, here we go. Oh, so, so how has close. He that? Slimani, a great save by a man who faked a shoulder injury. Uh, Sangare, yeah, congratulations to you. Seems to be absolutely right. Yeah, it, it couldn't be better because that's a worldly save as well. It is a corner, incredible save. Yeah, no, like Algeria have been slightly galvanized. They have. Uh, the Desert Fox is saying, we can't go home looking this bad. Let's at least get one point so that we don't have our uh, passports revoked because Algeria actually great on admin, well-run country. You know what I'm saying? One of the richer nations oh, in Africa. Oh, no, guys. What happened? Yeah. Oh, Ryan so you got some wait. people looking in the future, you know what I mean? Ryan couldn't wait again. Oh, here we go. Sangare rolls it out. Who's that, Gradel? Oh, uh, uh, Ivory Coast on the... No ways. But is that offside? I don't know. It's Nicola Pepe is what Nicola it is. Pepe. It's Pepe back post. Oh, 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 it's an OG. Go home. Offside. No, what? Offside. I thought it was. Yeah, it was offside. I mean, I thought it was. Nicola Pepe looked offside Wait, there. Bro. What's this new thing? This offside is very delayed. It's not like it used to be. Because you got to let the play unfold. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, no, that's horrible. He's, he's only what? He's only about 15 meters offside. Maybe you give the offside. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> Pepe. Like, it's not tight. Bro. When it's tight, you let it go, let it play, and then let VAR do it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? The, the, the Oak 
Honestly, there was an ocean between him. The, mm. the whole of the Atlantic was between him and the last defender. It, it's offside, linesman. And you know what I hate about that one, where they leave it? Mm. What about the injuries? You, you know, if Oaks, like, you can get injured. Yeah, like, on that can, one, I'm you sliding. Can, you can get injured. You yeah. know what I mean? And what, what happens if I two-foot tackle the guy that's offside? Yeah, like 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 you said, uh, Thibaut Couture, remember, VAR yeah. will turn it over. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah well said. So, clearly, I can... If I see this Oaks offside, and yeah. I know he's offside, and they're just waiting for play to unfold, I'm going to stop it from unfolding. <laughs> <laughs> and I will make sure it doesn't unfold. That's it. You're yeah, in control. I'll take you out, bro. Moe Live has come on to say, Algeria in luck. They got punked by the ref. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. Um, that's what I said. I mean, he's doing their best to be there, Howard Webb. Huh? Yeah. Oh, here we go. What do you got? U7, uh, U7 uh, F8 says, not going to lie, the grass they play on is bad. Like when like when Mor- Morocco played, he slipped because of the grass and they scored. And when the keeper lost the ball because of the grass. Yeah, it was also bad technique. I mean, I have always said this in life, is that God's practical joke on uh, football managers is a keeper with flair. And I mean, sometimes... <laughs> people like Sangare do too much. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nana, you know yeah. what I mean? That's Victor Gomes, yeah. how about, yeah, how's oh, about thank it? Thank you, thank you. How's about it, mate? He's no, like, oh, you're also like, bald. Nice that head. was straight out of the school of Sergio Ramos. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yasine Brahimi. That's literally where I learned a lot about Oh, no, but come on, sure. Take it the way he's putting that shirt. Oh, he got the yellow, guys. Also, he's bald. Like, Brahimi's bald. Victor Gomes... I don't know if you've ever seen bald people are nicer to each other for whatever reason. I mean, it's not our fault that you lost your hair. I don't know why you've started a society about yeah, well, it. Well, someone that understands what they're going through, bro. No, fair enough. It is uh, birds of a feather, as you they say. Ex, you ex with your with your full with your full locks. Yeah. Those, those guys, yeah. I mean, it, it, it is a bit ridiculous. Like, if you if you are balding, like it's okay, but you don't start a society about it. Victor Gomes going, "Hey, brother, I feel your struggle, so I'm not going to send you off. It should maybe be a red card. Uh, you can't just pull a guy like that. He's uh, you know, he's not your oh, next. Great, he's yeah. not your next door neighbor. You can't be. Yeah. You can't be pulling him like that. I'm not your mate. <laughs> yeah, so look here, but uh, I'm not your friend, eh? Don't chat to me like I'm your mate, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I do miss about uh, being an old person, uh, which I am now, it's it is a little bit of that uh, sort of aggro that you get in South Africa. Say, but look here, I'm not your mate. Like, if we do it, we have to sort this out. Yeah. By the way, um. D Brox has come on to update us to say it's 1 0 for Sierra Leone versus Equatorial Guinea. It is, and that's great news. It means we're in the money. Drinks are on PZ this weekend because he's winning 1,000 Rand. He has put 100 bucks on the triple swing. Winning. Also, it is his birthday, so is this money going to pay for his, like, you know, his one Coke at Greenhouse? Yeah. yeah. Or, no, no, it's a grand, so I think I can afford about three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, Heineken Zero or whatever. Yeah, 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 I can throw in a little Heineken Zero. Heineken Zero. Heineken Zero. You know what I mean? Take the edge off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, long week. Lie. Yeah. What, you're telling me? Yeah. Yes. Heineken Zero. It's been the... Uh, or Belali, uh, probably the most terrible person who's been on the field today. Belali, who's faked. He dived for the penalty. Uh, Riyad Mahrez obviously uh, decided, nah. I'm all about justice, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm Riyad Mahrez, I'm real. I've got a I've got a beard that's obviously been worked on by a Moroccan barber. I'd never let an Algerian guy touch my hair because obviously the best barber is a Moroccan, isn't it, right? Yeah, obviously. And he also says he's got that. What cars did all those Leicester players get at the end of that season? Those fancy... Uh, uh, yes, the R8. Yeah, yeah, no, I also got a fancy R8 where, where I won us no, the Premier League on. from a... Yeah, for, I was a five hundred thousand pound signing. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm Riyad Mahrez. I'm, I'm way better than Salah. You guys. Uh, and now I play for the best team in the Premier League. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. He's like, uh, he's probably going to go to the ref at the end of the game and go, please, Victor Gomes. You think you're the most impressive bulldog? I can't know. My coach is flipping Guardiola, bro. Like, you're not impressive because you're bald. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I haven't seen you winning all three titles in England. In fact, all four titles in England in one year. The clean yeah. sweep. You know what I mean? So Victor Gomes, maybe you go back to South Africa and teach your guys. <laughs> How to play soccer, you know. You go, man, also, you go, can you imagine this guy in the PSL? He would wreck the league like completely. Oh, Sangare, the man who miraculously has recovered from a dislocated shoulder. Great world he saved. This is why I don't like a short keeper. A tall keeper mm. catches that one, but shout out to Sangare for doing what he does. You know what I mean? Let that go, son. Oh, Nicola Pepe. 
Deed Brox has said nine minutes to score two goals. Can they do it? Well, they need no, three two. goals. Need three. Yeah, it's offside, Ooh. bro. You can't pass that. What are you doing? Hey. Yeah, Brahimi. Oh. <coughs> oh, Algeria turning it on. I mean, it's only three games late, but they're starting to, as they, as we say in South Africa, make the pots. You know what I mean? Great delivery. Great delivery, that. Like, with golf, they basically, if we were to use this as golf, they took 17 holes to warm up. <laughs> That's literally what that is. They took 17 <laughs> holes to warm up. Like, now I'm ready to play. Now I'm ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's exactly what's happened. <laughs> that's awesome. Nicola Pepe, it's uh, 82 minutes. If you are Algerian, I'd love to know um, your thoughts on this defense. Can you even call this a defense of their title? Like, because this honestly feels like a Montessori prize. Like, okay, we should get a medal for pitching up. You know what I mean? That's it. Th- th- this has been so poor. These Algerian this players, is embarrassing, should be, they should be ashamed. Know. Like, look at this guy. I mean, how long did he spend on that hair? Number six. He spent too much time making the hair. I mean, it looks sick. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it looks um, sick. Uh, Ramiz Zeruki. Great hair. What about no, some football? It looks sports? medical aid sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, I hear you there. Who's this number 12? Because you know this guy has the manager's... Uh, you, some guys you can see have... You know the, the, the manager of the club? <clears throat> They've already got a table booked ahead. Number 12 for um, Cote d'Ivoire looks like that guy. He's got the manager's number. Say, Oaks, don't even worry about it. I know the Oak personally. Yeah, I know the Oak personally. You always be a favour. Yeah, exactly. Always exactly. be a favour. Like, uh, you know, if a, if a guy says a, a club Dude. manager owes me a favour. Yeah, a club manager. Bro, don't worry if you're wearing shorts. You're with me. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're with me. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 uh, well, that was good and busy. It's outstanding. It's great. <laughs> Nicola, oh, oh, Nicola, put Shire. them on toes, son. Surely, goal of the tournament. Surely. No, oh, that's poor. On, that's man. poor. Oh, but that he could have added a bit of height on that. No, that guy's mean? also got the line where he's the guy who, you know, who knows the manager personally. Great tackle. Yep. It's Africa. And, the, and that guy has responded. That's a that's a yellow, at least. At you least. can't kick goats like that. Ran012 has said, I end up getting hooked on the watch along and forget to pay attention to the football. <laughs> match. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, I no, appreciate that, Ran. Thank you, Rans. I, I don't know, bro. Gomes, he's not representing South Africa right this Not at all, bro. I hope he doesn't live like... Because you know he's going to end up living like in four ways, this Gomes guy. And now I see him at the shops. So there's no way I can't say anything. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm going to go to him and say, listen, bro, you're a terrible ref. Like, I've got, like, I can't let that sit on my chest because if stuff sits inside, it becomes an ulcer. And yeah. I don't want an ulcer, bro. Yeah. You're a terrible ref. Like, let's just get that out the way. And also... Maybe put that mayonnaise away, pal. You're yeah. looking a little bit chunky. You know what I mean? Looking a little chunky. Oh, Zaha's coming on. Pepe's Wilfred going on. Zaha, off. who has redone his Check dress. Look at the hair, boy. It's unbelievable. Oh, uh, man. Nicola Pepe is off. He's saying, um, Mikel Arteta, he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm brilliant for these guys. Maybe Arsenal should change their kit to orange. Might inspire Nicola Pepe to deliver the goods. You know what I'm I saying? I think Ivory Coast at this point are just like, let's just give him some game time just to warm him up for the next yeah, wallop the they're going to give at the yeah. next game. Yeah, also, it's just good business for Instagram, you know. But obviously, Cote d'Ivoire, they do care about their Instagram. They're like, Zaha, will he'll turn Instagram into fire because he, he will dribble three guys. It's going to happen. Also, Zaha is pretty popular as it is, but imagine him in AFCON. He must be like a god. Oh, yeah. Superstar. Yeah. Superstar. But um, I don't know if he's... He's, he's one oak... He just hasn't lived up to his potential. There it is. He started with the tracks, the, the tricks already. Uh, but this, he's chasing it. I think D-Brox is leaving us as he says he needs to go get the controller's charge for tomorrow. You know what I mean? No, I do feel that. But th- that's <laughs> huge. But here's the thing, uh, D-Brox. Just before you go, if you are leaving us, shout out. To, please do follow us there, D-Brox. And uh, for more content, folks, uh, we will be doing the AFCON for every single game next week. Uh, Ryan, what is that? Sunday? Monday, so Sunday Tuesday. to the Wednesday. Yeah, so that's Monday, Sunday to Wednesday, which is obviously all the playoff games that are at yeah. four or, or five o'clock, right? We'll be at five o'clock Central African time. So that is, uh, if you are in Nigeria, it is what an hour earlier. Oof, oof, that's yeah, looking physical. Playing, it's really? looking physical. So four okay, p.m. Playing, if you are in Nigeria on the west coast, and if you are, of course, in on Central African time from five o'clock. Uh, that's 1700 hours Central African time. You can join us. So before you go, 
I just want to give. Oh, oh no, he says he's gonna. He says he's gonna stay till the end, but we'll still just. You know. All right, let's give them some advice. Though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. When he says I'm gonna stay till the end, it's already over. Algeria. This is more what they call in the Tour de France a procession. You know what yeah. I mean? Where guys are doing champagne glasses on the last lap now because yeah. uh, Chris Froome's already won it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you, <laughs> hey, by the way, Debrox, uh, Chris Froome, born in Kenya, the real story. Yeah. The real story. He's a Kenyan guy. Yeah, I mean, he's he, he go to St. John's, has he? Yeah, yeah. Caucasian. Obviously decided. Let me move to St. John's. Uh, that school looks like a castle. I want to be royalty. Yeah. Finish up there, and then I'm moving to England. They've got bicycles, and I'm I'm brilliant at this thing. Yeah. I've got. Chris, like cyclists have that super weird body, massive calves, and then they look like they've never ever heard of a push up. Yeah, no, hundred percent. No chest, no like chest. a bird. Nipple on a rib. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. But uh, Debrox, I sort of say this: it is a little bit of the Oaks, y- your friend's resp- uh, responsibilities. If they're going to come over for a tournament at your house. Mm. Oaks, bring controls and a charger. Bring controls. Make sure they charge. Yes. Bring controls. Yeah. Um, and one thing, right? Put tape or something so that you can remember your controls. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See? Put that like underneath or even put a little bit of Tipex with deep rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know, this is this is my controller. No, huge. Because the huge. thing is, there's a there could be a guy that's hey, he's he's violent with his analog stick. Yes, yeah. And then he goes and takes your clean ass uh, yeah uh, controllers. And now you got to, now you're trying to play PGA tour. Oh, Algeria and, trying to play their best football on the 18th hole. Yep. And you're struggling because your analog stick is missed. So, but this is experience. You see, yeah. you're talking from experience. Oh like, no, this is really experience. you're not being yeah, emotional. Yeah. Like yeah. you you've walked this path, and I think it's important for youngsters like Debrox. As a shout out to him turning 15. Happy birthday. I hope you have the best day of your life. And I hope the girl you are texting at school texts you back. You know what I mean? Because that's tough at 15 if she doesn't text you back. So yeah. that's hard because people are going to find out she's going to tell people. So Debrox, I hope that doesn't happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Because no, yeah. James's brother's in a bit of a situation. Yeah, like look, uh, James Ilsley's brother, James, one of the guys who works in our crew, got his mother to get flowers on her way back uh, from the airport for a girl so he could go ask her to the matric dance. So we don't know how that's worked out. We'll find out in the future. That's tough. You send a message to the chick. Yeah, no, no, not him. He said yeah. he forced his mom. And knowing James Ilsley, it makes complete sense. Those guys will make their mom do anything for them. It's unbelievable. She's one of the best people ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Oak's like 18. You Maybe go ask the lady yourself is what I thought. No, no, no. I'll get my mom to get me flowers as she's coming from the airport. Siri is in here, ladies and gentlemen. No, what come on. What? Uh, it's... Although this is a man who wore his chain 15 minutes into the game till. Obviously, the headmaster. Hey, didn't I tell you this ref wants to be a headmaster? He even make yeah, a, made a guy take a chain off. Uh, yeah. It's not a rap video. Yeah, take yeah, it off. yeah. Look here, young man. All right. We're not here for that. It's not, not here for your, for your gang banging that you guys are doing out there. Guys, the crime's bringing our country down. Yeah, okay, homeboy. <laughs> take it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher said that to me. No. <laughs> I'm going to the papers. I'd have to. I just feel like, I, yeah, like it was absolutely hilarious. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's absolutely racist. Yeah, the teacher called me homeboy. So yeah, look at homeboy. Maybe you tuck your shirt in. Yeah. And stop, right. stop yeah, talking in your in your thagonomics. Yeah. 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 I don't speak ebonics. <laughs> you just have to listen to me. Yeah, so, look here. Yeah. Okay. So we have a couple of comments here. No, we please, have. Nai Manima mm-hmm. says Kenya with the, all the flags. Yeah, let's go. Love Kenya. Yeah. So then we also have uh, Debrox saying, I think Algeria have lost this thing on the reel. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, Tlantla 7000 says, Strong presence for West Africa in this AFCON. Yeah. 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 Strong presence there. They're doing the good. It's Cameroon, Nigeria. And now, obviously, shout out to um, Wilfred Zaha and Co here, Cote d'Ivoire, about to make it four. No, Algeria say, No, we're terrible. We're not that bad, though. Can't be 4-1, but you know what I'm saying? We're defending champions, Desert Foxes. Uh, and, oh, possibly. Um, I'd like to know in the comments, is it too harsh? Uh, as the clock ticks down, there's two minutes left of Algeria's tournament. Um, I don't think it's too harsh of ex- of um, Algerian taxpayers to make their players walk <coughs> home. Uh, like, from here, uh, let's have a look-see here. Yeah, I have actually looked at it on Google. From Cameroon to Algeria. I just want to see what that distance is. I've, I've tried to... Enter the walking option. Not really an option. Let's see. 
Gil Bates is uh, jumped on here. Mm-hmm. Gil with a hard G, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's Gil, not Jill, because Jill's a lady. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Jack's obviously Jill, uh, Jill's brother, yeah. Yeah, he's, a, he's asking, when is James back on the show? Um, James is currently going through some stuff at the moment. He's trying to work on his vibes, you know what I mean? Oh, so, <laughs> if you have bad vibes, bro, people can tell that from like meters away. It's bad for everyone. They, they can literally see like, oh, yo, that has got bad vibes. Yeah, his vibes are off. His vibes are off. Like, I dig him as an oath, but I mean, like, what's his deal? Chew the oath, cross the jolly cool. <laughs> the bad oath's weirding me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's uh, that's when James will be back, when yeah. he gets his vibes right, you know what I mean? So, then we have a return of the Mac. We have MG Starboy One in the comments. Oh, okay. AMG Starboy, welcome back. I, I thought maybe you'd run away because your your football team is maybe they are I, I think it's fair to say the following. MC uh, uh, Starboy, one of our OGs, of course. Starboy, I hope you're following uh, the channel. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, they are in Cote d'Ivoire. It's a tourist. Oh! Oh! It is a man that oh, has okay. made the back of the net. A habitual offender. It is Sebastian Ale with the fourth. And now they are going bonkers. It is all over for the Desert Foxes. Hey. The crowd is throwing all sorts of things at them. Uh, and now Algeria destitute. They're crying human tears. To say... That oh was essentially goodness. just the nail in the coffin. If you it know is. It is. It's a, which is a metaphor. Uh, they aren't actually in a coffin. Although... Some of the Algerian players would uh, wish they probably could be six feet beneath ground for, what, the next two weeks or so. While Algeria responds, one of the richest countries in Africa, the media is going to have a field day. Algeria is... Go- Listen, Mares is going to have to have um, counselling after. It's a terrific go- uh, goal. It's... I lo- oh, he's offside. Isn't he? Yo. He looks a little bit ahead of the ball there. What a finish, though. That's why he's the top goal scorer in the Champions League, though. Like, look at this. He doesn't think about it. Doesn't need to look at the goal. Bang. I know where the keeper is. Don't worry about it. I do this for Ajax all the time. It's 4-1. And, um... Would you? Oh. No. Not 4-2. Ivory Coast say, you guys are terrible. You you guys need to go home. If you won that ball, that would be shocking. All right. So, does anybody know the distance? And that is the game. Victor Gomes says, gentlemen, I have to go and see if there's any feedback because I've applied for the international school in Algeria to be the headmaster there. That's why I talk to you like you're delinquents and children. And now he's having a smile. That's offside, bro. I told you. Yeah, that's offside. He's ahead of the ball. I told you. Yeah. What What are the VAR acts doing? Because they do, they should have disallowed the, the penalty. Yeah. Or there were no way. I, I think they changed the rule there. If any part of your body's onside, <coughs> I think you, you're onside now. Now. <clears throat> Uh, bro, I, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to be. I, I think they did change the rule. I, I think if you've got a part of your, um, your body that can that can score on side, <sighs> yeah. they give you the benefit of the doubt. There has to be like daylight. I think they did change that. Okay, wait. So hold on. We have Cote d'Ivoire. Yes. Yeah. So now, what's what's the update on that other game? Yeah, how how, how are we how are we doing on that one? Is right, going to get his money? I can give you an update there. Equatorial Guinea. With 90 plus 6 on the clock, are 1 0 up. We're in the money, MPZ. So we're, we're, in, we're in the money so far. Well yeah. done. Well, we don't know that. I mean, we saw last night Tottenham Hotspur obviously scoring two goals in additional time. Uh, <clears throat> shout out Ice Ice Bergwin scoring in the 95th and 97th minute for Tottenham. Yeah, <laughs> now I've literally I've only, I've only seen that once in my life. Yeah. And uh, no, yesterday was actually the second, second time it's happened in my life, but I just watched highlights. The first time was wild. Wait, what was the first time? First time was Euro 2000, England versus France. I think it was the semi final or the quarter final. It's 1 0 England. They are going mad. Oaks are, Oaks are losing their shit. Yeah. Um, because you, and you know, the English fans are absolutely terrible. For balls come in. Oh. And uh, yeah, there's a there's a there's a guy who used to play for France. I'm not sure if you know him. Uh, called Zinedine's dad. Not bad, that guy. Yeah, no, not bad at all. I've yeah. heard he's I've heard he's okay in football. Yeah, I know he's a, he was decent, decent yeah. and a better bald guy than Victor Gomes. They're yeah, all, 100%. yeah, sure. Um, and he just decided, you know what, Oaks? One minute left in this game, or two minutes left in this game, I'm scoring two goals. Yeah. Yeah, that's Hot that's that's what I'm gonna do. He's like, yeah, I've I've let, I've given you Oaks 90 minutes yeah. to score three goals, and you haven't. So I'm gonna score two in one. 
No, nothing wrong. Uh, Zizou, not bad, that guy. Then yeah. he headbutted Matarazzi in the World Cup final. You know what I mean? Yeah. Said, I've already won a World Cup. I scored two against Brazil. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you guys watch that 98 thing? That was me. Yeah, that was me against me. Ronaldo. Everyone talked about Ronaldo. I'm, I'm the best. I'm the, yeah. And then I had a little bit of hair. First, I bossed one Ronaldo and yeah. I coached another one. That's exactly yeah. it. So don't bring the name Ronaldo around me. Uh, so I'm not scared of that. I'm yeah, Algerian. I'm not, I'm not scared of that. Yeah, come on. Yeah. In fact, Zidane's probably watching this game going, these guys aren't real. They're Algerians. Did yeah. they not watch my 1998 tape? I, I, I even gave them the temp. Yeah, I gave them the textbook. Yeah. I, I just happened to play for France. I'm an Algerian. Yeah. So. I just want to catch up on some comments if I can. No, no. Ryan, Ryan. By all means. Please. All I mean, means. you know, there, there's people... Ryan, that have given up their time. They could, because they could be doing what right now? They could be eating a sandwich right now. They could, you know, they could be going, they could be warming up almond milk in the fridge, right? Or in the microwave. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know what fridge you have. You no, well, maybe I've got a smart fridge. You know what I mean? Maybe my, maybe my fridge is <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't like my, I don't like my milk so cold that it makes my feel, my teeth feel sensitive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so, the nine out of 10 dentists yes. um, suggest sensitive for help with your. Okay. Teeth sensitivity. Oh yeah. No, shout out to shout out to a sensitive ad. Yeah. Um, nine nine out of ten, you say. Yeah, nine out of ten. That's uh, good. That's good advertising. I mean, if if it's lived with you right through to a watch through where Algeria are the worst defending champions of all time, it's it's proper advertising. Yeah, no, it's proper advertising. Like, uh, nine out of ten. Mm. You know, that's. It's ninety percent. So are you saying my milk's not too cold? It's the fact that um, I'm not using Sensida. It's 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 a possibility. No, I've got and I'm open to it. I mean, in a new world where Ryan Tinline's looking for a date. I've got to be open to this possibility. You know yeah, I mean? Hold on. Listen. I'm, I'm going to take us back to these comments because I know where MKT is going. No, sure. All right, all right. So, firstly, before we before we go back up to some of the older comments, um, Moe Live says, uh, MKT Squad, uh, well done, gents. Great show. I hope you put the recording on YouTube. And uh, MAL, like five underscores one, says, the MKT show, what's up? How can we send photos here? Uh, well, I mean, first of all, you could um, do a post and hashtag the MKT show live. Uh, you could do that, um, and then we'll look, we'll see the photo. Otherwise, you can send it to us. Otherwise, you can slide in the DMs, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? We're on Instagram. Uh, you can send that photo to the MKT show. Uh, you can send that show, photo um, to MKT Inspires or the MKT show on uh, on Instagram or Ryan James uh, Tinline is Hawksley. Are you Hawksley on Instagram as well? Right? No, no, no. Please, no, no adult photos. You know what I mean? I, I don't need the. So I'm getting a little. I'm, I'm getting a bit older now. I can't have any any photos that would shock children. You know, or would be inappropriate for children. So please, I hope the photo is of you with clothes on. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't need that kind of sort of. I, I don't need heart palpitations at my age. Do you, do you know what I mean, Ryan? I'm, yeah. I'm getting on a bit. And also, just uh, our YouTube channel is up. This yeah. will be on YouTube. Yeah. By uh, when? Oh, tonight. Tonight, then, tonight yeah. Tonight should be at up, some stage, yeah. Should, should be up tonight. So do go follow that at the MKT show. Yeah. And um, we also, the MKT show live, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, I feel you. Hashtag MKT show live. Let us know what you think of the uh, of the watch along. What would you like to see more? You know what I mean? Or tell us about the tournament. Um, so tell us what you're feeling. You know what I mean? And I, I mean in general. Maybe, maybe you broke up with your lady today. Maybe oh, your yeah, lady yeah. broke up with you. Yeah, Maybe yeah. your lady is with your brother right now. Yeah. And you, you, you just found that out because somebody, you know, sometimes you've got a good friend. They're at the club. They're like, bro, what's so-and-so doing here? What's going on here? Yeah, because that kiss doesn't look like it's her cousin. You yeah. know? Oh, no, it's your brother. Oh. Can't believe it. But it's your foot, so yeah. you can't fight him. No, I can't. But yeah. I, I just thought as a mate. Let me yeah, let you know. Let me, let me let you know. I'm obviously here as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Um, so maybe you had a bad day. How are you feeling? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, these, look, we have to be open to this. Terrible things happen. You know what I mean? Uh, just, just, just by the way, Rex. Been given a cash out offer. A of? Uh, 681 Rand. Okay. Uh, 681 Rand versus 1,028. Okay. Let's ask, um, you know what I've always said? Democracy, right? Democracy. 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 We've got to ask the people. Please, can we put this to a vote? Uh, please comment. Um, so you, just so you understand the situation. Well, I mean, is there anything to talk about? Uh, Algeria are the desert foxes. They're terrible. They should be made to walk home as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Um, I still, Ryan, can you Google how far it is to, um, from Algeria to Ivory Coast? I mean, I'm, not, I'm actually not too sure um, exactly what's going on there. I'm, I'm trying to Google it. But how far is it from Algeria to Ivory Coast? Um, Algeria, sorry, Algeria to Cameroon. 
distance. Here we go. I'm gonna Google it before we before we put put it to vote. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Before 2,557 kilometers. It's nothing. If you're gonna play this badly in your Algeria, walk home. If honestly, if I'm the citizens, I say, not only am I paying for great infrastructure, right, in Algeria, yeah. great schooling, like good banks, nice yeah. roads, but we're paying for <laughs> yours so to go and play a, a, a children's game over there. Okay, yeah. we, we have a bit of a fight in the comments here. No, uh, let's hear it. Rand 12 says, don't be greedy, cash out. And then uh, Ntlantla7000, uh, so that's from Rand012. Ntlantla7000 okay. says, hold tight and peasy, God loves us all. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, but that's tough now. That's a split vote. It's a, it's a, it's a split vote. It's a split. Uh, what, what do they call it when the polls are? Uh, uh, the vote is hung. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the court is, yeah, the jury, it's <laughs> hung. It's, this is a hung jury. This is a... Uh, and, and not to be confused with Hong. No, from, that's Hong, Hong, Hong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us, we don't know English. So <laughs> that's, that's Willy Madisha. Honorable Madisha. Honorable Madisha. Honorable Madisha. Oh, guys, during the Zuma years, it was a movie, it right? Was lit. Oh, it was a movie. You yeah. see, the thing is, it's Mali versus Mauritania. <laughs> Right. Okay, wait. Let me explain the whole situation, PZ. Yeah. Okay. Just so people know, PZ, in our money, we call it rands. Some people, you know, they say monopoly money. Okay, we can't we can't have that conversation now. Yeah. It's a hundred bucks. So hundreds of a hundred of our rands was what you put down. Yeah. Right. Three games. What did you go for? What were the results? Ivory Coast game, you went? I went Ivory Coast to win. Okay. Sierra Leone against Equatorial Guinea, you went? Equatorial Guinea to win. Bing bing. So that's two wins. Now there's a third yeah. game. Right, and in that game, it's a little bit more pickle, pickle esque. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a little bit of a hypothetical pickle. It's not really a pickle in a jar. Yeah. It's more of a metaphor uh, that Shakespeare made up, which must have been weird because I don't know if you know this, but so I'm in a pickle. pickle was first viewed in a Shakespeare play on stage. I always wonder, did the people know what they meant? Yeah, because it didn't exist. It, it's not a it's not a saying that existed in society. Shakespeare made that up, and the first time he he kind of released it, kind of like a Drake album on Spotify, yeah. it was on stage. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. Yeah. Um, so, I am Nox Man has commented saying, cash out, mate, or else it will end in tears. <laughs> I love that people are voting <clears throat> without the context. Yeah. Okay, so, just committed to one side. And then, uh, Ntlantla7000 uh, says, what happens if you don't cash out? How far is the Guinea game? Okay, so, let, uh, the Equatorial Guinea game is over. They have won. Yeah. Um, Algeria, Ivory Coast. Obviously, Algeria are now going to have to walk home. And what I'd do, actually, if I was the Algerian people, I, I've, I've thought about it. Great goal by Nicola Pepe. They, we're seeing the highlights now. Carol Manana looking fantastic, by the way, in all of her um, Africa meets Europe. Afrusion. You're African. There's actually never been done. There's Eurasian. There's Eurasian. There's Australasian. Yeah. I think you can only do it with Asian. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know. Listen, uh, you know, sure. No, no. <laughs> you know, you do it with Asian. So, Mali, Mauritania is all that stands between PZ and another 400 bucks on top of this. Yeah. So, I mean, let's have a look at what, you know, what, let's maybe do this properly. Group F, what's going on there? Mali, Mauritania. What happened to Mauritania? They lost 4 0 to Tunisia, who, of course, had a game where referee blew the whistle um, both six minutes early and three minutes early, I believe. Well, what was it, 84? That was the Mali Tunisia game. Right? Yeah, yeah. Or was it Mali Tunisia? Anyway, yeah. Tunisia the also is the is the team that put um is it uh my team out of out of the, the last Afcon. Yeah, uh, Morocco. Yeah. My barber was telling me about it. He says Tunisia were, were the guys who took them out. Also Tunisians, great barbers though. <clears throat> so maybe Morocco, Tunisia, a bit of a barber battle there. Yeah. As I have um I've had one or two uh, Tunisian guys work on my hair, you know what I mean? Phenomenal at what they do, those guys. You, you, yeah. I've always said, I will never let a South African touch my head. Oh, 100%. You've got to be Nigerian, Moroccan, Tunisian. Otherwise, get out of my face, bro. Like, I don't mind maybe having a cup of coffee with you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. it's a business decision. Or, oh, but for me, I also let Oaks from the West Bank. White Oak or uh, a Black Oak? A, a, anyone from the restaurant? They know how to cut hair. Now, Ryan, you from the restaurant? Is no, that true? They're, they're, they're no, true. I mean, look at this haircut, yeah. No, but I mean, that was a Moroccan, so yeah, but it was in the restaurant. It was in Cradlestone. No, but you can't say that Oaks from Morocco living in the restaurant is from the restaurant. It's not how it works. No, guys from the restaurant. Oh no, well, that's how can you say that? But does it have to be like a villi or, or like or, or a skumbuzo? 
Sorry. No, but how how can you say that? Because all Af- other Africans are allowed to come live here. No, I'm saying they can live there, but you can't say the oak is a West Rand oak and he's a Moroccan. You know what I mean? You've got to give Morocco their credit, is my point. I'm not saying he doesn't live in the West Rand. JJ Okocha, by the way, has just had his... Right, maybe JJ Okocha went to the West Rand to have that beard trimmed. Do you see it? Yeah. Shoes, no, fam. There's no way. His, his barber's can move. Also, that man's got a fresh shave. Yeah, Ben Johnny just probably, got it like two minutes ago. Yeah, probably went to the West Rand. He's like, hey, have you heard of me? <clears> I was at Man City before that terrible guy, Riyad Mahrez. He's, he's probably going to make a phone call to Man City, say, get rid of that guy. He's terrible. I saw him live. And I was wearing a tie in Johannesburg. So I'm Benjani Mwariwari, who won an FA Cup. So Carol Manana, she's just a presenter. Uh, Andre Arons are wearing the same suit he's worn the whole time. I mean, Andre, maybe you mixed it up a little bit. Uh, you're a millionaire, pal. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, yeah. what, three suits? And gonna, uh, so, and so in Atlanta, yeah. 7,000 says, nah, cash out, dude. No way Mali is losing that game. 500 bucks is good no, enough. No, I said Mali to win. No, Mali to win. Oh, you must listen, yeah. This is why Victor Gomes, maybe <coughs> people like Victor Gomes are necessary to have a bit of discipline. Listen, listening is a skill, right? Who said that? Who, who was that, right? And Tantra 7000. He also says, still don't get the suits. Yeah, me neither. And Tantra, I mean, can we wait? I, am I not rocking the African vibe, yeah, bro? Yeah, you're rocking the African vibe, and the thing is, I just can... You can always put a little bit of V of Africa in anything. Bro. Like Baby Jet did. Did you see Baby Jet had oh, the, Baby the Jet vibe, but he had so the Ghana good. vibe in the middle? Yeah. Now, Starboy, I, I wanted to address Starboy. I hope he's not gone. Starboy, how are you feeling about Ghana? Were they allowed home? Did, did you Ghanaian citizens go and blockade at the airport to say, we don't need your loser attitude here, guys. Give your passports here. Get back on that plane and go back to Cameroon. We don't need you guys. Yeah, also, I have, a, I have a message for MG Starboy 1. Uh, well, you know what? It's more of a, it's more of a visual message. No, I, I, okay, sure. Before you give him the message, Ryan, maybe give it some thought because I, I do want to say this to him is that um, Starboy, you're going to have to address that. I mean, Ghana are terrible. You People are already saying, Starboy, I'm not saying this, right? I'm not trying to be the news. I'm just reporting the news. People are already saying Ghana is the West, is uh, the Algeria of West Africa. All right, Ryan, what's your message? I, I can't, I'm just, I'm saying what people are saying. I don't know which one. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving him that uh, thumbs up here. Oh, is that you saying, yeah, they got a bit of a Ghana's Morocco, out, boys. Morocco, Ghana See thing. Starboy was giving him a tough time. Uh, and Tlantla 7000 says, looking like Mandela reincarnated in KT. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, the thing is about uh, being closer is greatness is, in, is inherited. You know what I mean? It's, you, we, we just pass it on. Like the great Desmond Tutu just passed now. I just got, because what, think of it this way. It's kind of like a family <clears> business <throat> yeah. with closer people. Greatness is that each and every single sort of when Oliver Tambo died, I inherited like 0. 0.0000 uh, whatever okay. percent. It got divided in amongst Every closer out there. Isn't and Christmas my favorite closer? Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. So, so no, because uh, closer genes have evolved to a point where it filters out the bad. So only when the greats die, it gets passed on. Bad genes, obviously, just as evolution works, the bad stuff gets filtered out. You know what I mean? Only the strongest shall survive. Uh, shout out to Charles Darwin, who went on the HMS Bagel. You know what I mean? Galapagos Islands and all that. So I'm just saying that's science, bro. I'm okay. just telling you what it is. Being closer, greatness. Greatness is just, you, you know, people say, closer people are so great. I say, no, to us, it's just another Sunday, pal. You know, we call it Sunday. Oh, we don't call it greatness. So there's yeah. that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so That's one thing about closer people. What's that? Y'all are, y'all are arrogant, eh? People say confident, you know yeah, what I mean? Uh, no, I, I get you. I get you. Like, uh, How can you be confident when you're great, is what I'm saying. Do you, do you call Tiger Woods arrogant? Absolutely not. No, so, like, Tiger Woods is the greatest ever. What people are saying? Closest Tiger Woods. <laughs> no, no, you there's a correlation. We, we, we can't draw parallels. I don't see I don't see a Lucas Mangwepe airport in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's be honest. It's 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 really Lala Madiba. Uh, That's yeah, you know really. what I mean. Yeah, no, I get you. And a whole universe that we renamed the whole bloody East Coast after that. Yeah, yeah and no, now you, you got Oro Thambu. Yeah. Or yeah. a Thumbu, the biggest, the greatest airport in Africa named what? Or a Thumbu. Oh, okay, no, okay. It's a causa. So I'm not saying we've got to be tribalist. I'm just saying, let the record speak for itself. Yeah, no, the, the, the stats. We were funded, so let the stats speak. Okay. My emotions are, oh, no, you're joking. They missed a penalty. Oh, thank the Lord. Sierra Leone missed a penalty. And what to say as well. And Clanto yeah, yeah, yeah. 7000 is right. God loves us all. God loves us all indeed. Look at that oh, save. Jeez, what a save. 
And one more thing. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. <laughs> I do feel you, PZ. You are in a bit of a pickle. So, PZ, I mean, is the vote in here? Are, are more eggs voting? Because it's kind of... No, 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 no. Everybody's everybody's finished with the game. I think they're all waiting for the for, for the game at nine. I think it's, yeah, it's the, game the next at nine, one. And I need to... I need to make this decision before that game starts. Yeah, so, okay. Look here, guys. Is PZ, what are you feeling, bro? And PZ is an, an accountant, by the way. So, it's not like he's an idiot with his money. So, That's he needs to make some... A, 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 a chartered accountant. He made a 581 rand profit. Okay, but let's also... Let's look at the reality of what's going on here. So, Mauritania <laughs> lost to Tunisia, right? 4-0, bro. 4-0. Yes. I mean, come on. Hold on. Let's have a look-see. Let's do it properly. Let's look at all their performances and put yeah. them in context. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's always saying, context is heavy. In Atlanta, 7,000 says, uh, flip a coin. Flip a coin. <laughs> all right. Yeah, because that's what a chartered accountant will do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mauritania lost to Gambia, bro. I'd even say the Gambia. It's a definite article. It's not a Gambia. Do <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's no, bro. you got to you got to you got to let it roll. Ma- Mali are going to decimate these oaks. Mali beat Tunisia, drew with Gambia, the Gambia, no, not any Gambia, yeah. this, what the Gambia. What was the score between Gambia, I think? Mali. Uh, yeah, between Gambia, and, no, Gambia and Mauritania. 1-0 to Gambia. 1-0 to Gambia. Yeah. Um, c- could you just give me the sh- shots uh, on target and shots off target for Gambia. Uh, in uh, against Mauritania. Yeah, against Mauritania. All right, no, I'm more than happy. To okay, and PZ, there's also some guys. Ask some some questions for you in the in the comments here. Okay, wait, hold on. Before we do that, Ryan, I, I want to give the oh, stats. I thought, I thought you were still getting the stats. No, 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 no. I'll, no, just, no, I'll they, just jump in. But they, no, it's fine. They, the they, they always call me uh, Quick Fingers Tinder. You know what I'm saying? Which might sound <laughs> like I'm a thief, but no, no, no. So that I've got the well, Ryan, as you yeah. always say, I'm quick on the ones and twos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, Mauritania actually dominated Gambia here. Hilarious. Um, juice. Mauritania had 12 shots off target, two on. Then Gambia had four shots off target and so and uh, three <clears throat> on target. Although Gambia won in the end. So yeah. what was the position like? 62 percent to Mauritania. Right, I'm cashing out. No, I you're think, joking. I, th- I think I could be cashing out. Really. Or do you think Mali are, are worse than Gambia? No, I don't think Mali are worse than Gambia. I think that Mauritania can jam. Unless they... Because they know they're out. Because they've lost two games. Sure. So, are they giving youngsters a chance to play? Yeah, hey, it's Fcard and come play your last game. Yeah, yeah. And now these guys are going to come out and try to prove themselves. And there's a lot of things to think about. Well, here's what you need to know about Mauritania. Mm. The F. Like on a column, you know what I mean? P, W, D, yeah. L. That's played. One. If, uh, draws, loss, you know what I'm saying? And then there's F and there's A. Yeah. And four that's not the FA in England. No. Yeah. It's very easy to make that mistake. But four is goals for. Yeah. Against is goals against. Yeah. Mauritania in the against column. Yeah. Five. Five. Not five. Five. Jeez, jeez, five. Five, right? Oaks are going one, two, three, four. Five. Five, five yeah. Goals four. They're basically the Algeria of this group. Zero. Zero. Jeez. Conceded five, scored nothing. No, bro. Don't catch up. That's crazy. Yeah. Mali are going to beat these guys. Ryan, what do you say? I know it's a hard one, but the yeah, thing is, you, you've, you haven't just doubled your money. You've made like five times your original yeah, betting that's amount. Big. That's like I'm the lavish. 100, and now I'm sitting at 681. Yeah, yeah. That's 581 <sighs> taking home. And the thing is, we know AFCON. It's the biggest bullshit like will happen. You yeah, know what I mean? Because the thing is, the thing is, a draw, right? A draw and I lose all of it. Yeah, you don't need that kind of action. And I mean, let's see here. How many of Mali scored? That's a, you're starting to make, you're swinging me here. Yeah. Wait, the Gambia are winning this group. Oh my goodness. What? Tunisia could be out, Jokes. If Gambia beat Tunisia, Tunisia are out tonight. Incredible. Imagine the Gambia are through and South Africa couldn't even get on a flight to go to a tournament. Um, MKT Malcolm has just come in the comments here. He just said, MKT, just remember you are a public influencer. Oh, well, 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 regarding what now? Is, well, you, is he just reminding me? Yeah, no, I think he's just he's just uh giving you the the business, giving you the business. Who, yeah. who is that? It's it's MAL, but yeah. uh, he just followed us on, on Instagram. His name is Malcolm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd prefer to look at myself as a cultural commentator, yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, MAL, I, I hear you there, pal. Rans012 uh, Rans uh, says, Mpeezy, can we settle this? Who's the goat between the CAs and the actuarial uh, actuarial science? Yeah. Oh, who's the goat? Yeah, he's the, he's the, uh, who, who's is, the, who's this is, the, what we call the stapor. No, nah, this is just, it's not because I have a CA. The goats are the CAs. No, I mean, um, mostly when people say it's not because. It, it probably is because. Bro, the thing is, when, when, you, when you see me, bro, and I, I tune you, I'm an accountant. I have an accountant. I've got the tax, whatever, whatever. <laughs> But it's my it's my pure it's my pure it's my pure gravitas. No, yeah, yeah. It's my pure gravitas it's essence, yeah. that shows you that I, I'm the guy. Like, like I, I've got a presence. Mm. You, you guys should put some respect on my name. Yeah, put some respect on my name. I hear you. Really, actuaries have to tell everyone. Uh, by the way, I'm an actuary. I don't need to do that. No, because I don't need to do that. You can see by the way I present myself. So you suggesting being a CA. It's not a qualification. It's a way of life. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of being. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Moe Live says, uh, <laughs> he says, so Mpeezy basically banks with Investec. No, sure. It's a lifestyle. No, I don't bank with Investec. If it be. <laughs> best, best bank to have a business No, shut up, Michael. You're done. Thanks Rand for all those Rand012 says, I hear you, Mpeezy. With Thank the you. laughing face. No, listen. I mean, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, bro. Being a CA is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a journey that starts in first year. Yeah. It's the <laughs> end of all the And then it transcends. Me. It transcends. <laughs> I get him, <it>, busy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is awesome. That is awesome. All right. I think that's the takeaway. So, uh, PZ, have you made a call here? I mean, obviously, you're living a lifestyle. That, yeah. that, and you don't have to tell us that. Yes. Uh, it's a lifestyle. So have you made a call? And you, uh, that's the worst nah, part. This I'm is not, like, uh, can I tell you what this is? This is when you've just made that big. You just hit the big one at the tables. Now you got all this cash. You're like, ah. But, no, you know what it's but like? I can get more. You know yeah. what I mean? You know what it's like, bro? It's like when you when you marry and you find out your girlfriend's weirdly rich. Like oh, a, shit. Sorry, guys. It went up to 713. I'm cashing out. Oh, it's because they know Marley are going to win. Yeah, I think that Marley are going to win. Obviously, the odds are changing. Yeah, yeah. and they want to think me closer to, the, closer to the game. This is what they do. Yeah, no, I'm cashing out. I, so, I, so, I wait, but, but if you wait like 10 minutes longer, guys, will, will they offer you more? Guys, if I wait 10 minutes longer, because the thing is, as soon as the game starts, it's locked. Okay, it's so locked, you, I can't. you've got, you've got, uh, what is that? You've got 30... You got forty three minutes to make a call. You so you got about twenty minutes to make a call, actually. Yeah, I don't. I, look, I don't even want. There it is. I mean, Pumlan MCB saying it's a wonderful game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> oh, Pumalani, yeah, bro. He's got. He's wearing a Steve Harvey suit. Yeah, I was gonna say There's he looks like the African like Steve Harvey. It's too. It's too electric. <laughs> like it's everywhere. You, who is that? Is that? Uh, Baby Jet, let's go. Uh, Only he can wear a brown suit with a blue tie. Shout out Asamo Gyan. <laughs> 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 hey? He literally looks uh, like... MPZ, yeah. Mplanta 7000 says, take the deal, MPZ. Come on. Yeah, no. I so think... are you getting 700 bucks or are you taking out 700 bucks? I'm getting 700 bucks. On top of that, so you're getting 813 rand? No, no. So I'm, I'm getting 613 rand and 58 cents. No, I see what you're saying. Okay, let me just do a quick refresh in case it's gone up by a rand or so. Yeah, I know, no. In this economy, you've okay. got to stay focused. No, it's uh, it's the same. I think before team lists come out and anything and start yeah. affecting this a bit, I think I'm going to cash out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Baby Jet is wearing a brown suit with an even lighter brown. Kind of looks like a khaki school uniform. Um, like if you're in the West Rand, they probably have that uniform, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like a felt school. But on Baby Jet, he's wearing a tie, which is tiled. It's got purple, blue, like an, uh, a light blue, a lavender, which is, it's just an unbelievable uh, getup. And he's also wearing like a, something on his, it's an unbelievable suit. Only Baby Jet could rock this. You know what I'm saying? you got to have that West African swag. Shout out to Starboy if he's still with us. Asamo Gyan's going, those guys are terrible. I qualified in a tournament while I was rapping and an entrepreneur. These guys can't even do anything and they're doing it full time. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The great uh, Tinashe Nangomasha, uh, great beard, looks like a dad. You know what I mean? He's got that dad swag of looking clean, but the beard looks authoritative. He was always captain, of course, of Zimbabwe and indeed Kaiser Chiefs, a brilliant player. And then... Um, 
a bit of a Vobzok, Stanton Fred Fredericks. Yeah. Yeah. It was his nickname, Stiga. Stiga. Yeah. Tell yeah. them, Stiga. No, nah, that man's for Vobs. Man. So, yeah, great panel. So, in PZ, obviously, the people got to know um, you cashing out, eh? I've cashed out already. It's 600 rand, 613 rand and 58 cents profit from today. Well, the, hey, that's a... Uh... Well done. No, shout out. Nothing wrong if, with uh, that. That's easy money, bro. Winners yeah, know yeah. when to quit. Winners know when to quit. You know what I'm saying? Is that uh, don't try and be happier than happy. I mean, if your girlfriend's beautiful and she only bothers you five days out of seven, I mean, don't try and be happier than happy and, and, and look for uh, better. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it takes a real man. Again, this is what makes you, this is what separates actual scientists and CAs. Yeah. You know, the confidence to go, I know when I'm happy, bro. Yeah, no. Actual scientist will be like, okay, so what's the risk of me getting into the start doing formulas and yep. graphs or whatever? We're just like, can I draw with the boys on one day? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I need. No, that's all I need. Problem with actuaries is that they, they're all into analytics. Yeah. And yeah. PZ says, you know what? No, no, no. I'm about last stop. It's called manalytics. Bro. Yeah. You got to put the man with the analytics yeah. and then you get the best results. Then you get the man set. <laughs> Right in line. You are an awesome human being. Uh, to all of you that have uh, watched, if you are just joining, uh, it has been the MKT show uh, watch along. Cote d'Ivoire have condemned the desert foxes, Algeria. If I was an Algerian taxpayer today, I would say, do not take the match kit you guys played in because you didn't sweat at all. You haven't tried. And then walk home. Those of you who make it home, you get to keep your passport. Those of you who end up wherever you end up, it's not our problem. You guys are terrible. And you've basically taken the equivalent of our children's college funds and you've gone and wet the bed in Cameroon. Now you've made us look bad. So I would make them walk home if I was the Algerian taxpayer. But hey, who am I to say? And PZ, you're awesome. Uh, it's a lifestyle to be a CA. We've learned that now. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. You and um, what was the other young, uh, the 15-year-old's name? D-Block. D-Block. D-Brax. D-I-D. D-Brox. D-Brox. Shout out to you. Happy birthday. Um, I would like you to take Mpizi's advice. If it's your own control, just mark it because there's going to be some rapscallions that are going to come to your house. And you know what these guys always do if you're playing FIFA at your house? Mm. When they swap the control knowingly, like yeah. you said, because they get aggressive with the analog control. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, did you take my control, bro? So I don't actually know, bro. Like, bro all PlayStation controllers, this is safe. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly. What do you want me to do? Pick this out of a lineup? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It feels the same. It looks the same. Bro, it's just a controller. You Come know, on, bro. Just, yeah. It's when exactly. they say it's just a controller, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that guy's got your controller. Yeah, he's like, like, you know me, bro. You yeah. know I wouldn't take your control on purpose. Bro, it's literally a mistake. Bro. Yeah, but I can only come to your house in two weeks' time because my, mom, my mom's car's broken down. Bro, like, if you don't get my control... <laughs> Like, you know these yeah. things. Yeah, That's no. exactly it. It's just a controller. Yeah, it's just a controller. You know, like, you know, yeah, you know yeah, like, yourself, bro. How am I supposed to know? Bro? You know I wouldn't as well. Yeah, yeah like, why would I? What incentive do I have <laughs> to take your controller? <laughs> At the end of the day, we both have controls. Bro. We both have controls. So what are we fighting about? Bro? And that's the disgusting person who has your control. PZ, you're awesome, yeah. dude. I can't wait um, to get onto the next watch along. Um, I mean, we'll have a chat, you know. We'll see... Like where are you, what's happening? Obviously, you you're in a little bit of a a bit of a vortex from now till uh, till about when next week Tuesday or whatever. Next week, next week Monday. Monday. So so have you? Are you going to speak to the people in HR, uh, also known as Paul Magali, also oh, known no, sorry, as like I said, sent through sent through the thing. It just needs to be approved. So when are you back at work Tuesday? Uh, back at work on Monday. Um. Okay. So you. No, actually, back at work Friday. Probably going to do half day or three quarter day. No. Yeah. 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 Um, and then that's if that's if the boss approves it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, that's, the, that's Mr. The Mr. Magali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, let me give you some advice. What you want to do is book that fake Friday meeting, but like half an hour from your house. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just so happens that the fake like half past two meeting is is at the pub. Yeah, it's because you you, you got to do business with the man on the street. Yeah, if yeah. the client wants to meet it at uh, I don't know, like uh, at Gilroy's. Roger. Yeah, at Gilroy's. Yo, Gilroy's. I have to have to be there. If they, cause I to, if, because I need to give the impression like, look, I may be a CA. Yeah. But not better. This is the same person. Business about communication, networking. Yeah. Like networking. if the Oak wants to have a, a like a half pint, you know what I mean? Let's have a half pint. I, I can't say no, I, I want to go to Nobu. That's not yeah. how it works. 
So you want to book that meeting about half an hour away from the office and maybe Mr. Magali goes, all right, that's good. He's doing sales on a Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's doing great. Yeah. But by 3.30, you're already four beers in. Yeah. Or yeah. Obviously, Heineken Lights. Yeah, or yeah. Heineken, Heineken, Zeros. Heineken Zeros. Heineken Zeros, yeah. Heineken Zeros, yeah. yeah no, I'm, uh, that's, that's, that's my plan. But put in your calendar. So yeah. in case the boss checks, you know how bosses always check. Yeah. Goes, yes, yeah, this Magali Oaks never at his desk. Yeah. So, oh, no, this is good. He's had a meeting with yeah, a meeting. Charles Rosenthal or whatever. Yeah. Well, that okay. automatic replies can't talk. Yeah. Or call you back. At a meeting. At, yeah. at the crime scene. LOL. You yeah. know what I mean? At the crime scene. LOL. <laughs> Peasy, you're awesome. Ryan, you guys are awesome. Uh, this is an enjoyable way to do things. To you at home, uh, please do follow the MKT Show on YouTube. Uh, we'll be back very, very soon working on a, on a new space, transitioning studios. Otherwise, Sunday, this coming Sunday, um, make sure to be with us from 5 p.m. That's 1700 hours uh, Central African time. We will be doing another watch along. We'll go Sunday to Wednesday, which is all the knockout games, last 16 games that are at 1700 hours or 1800 hours uh, Central African time. But we will be here. You can join us on the MKT show right here on TikTok uh, from 1700 hours. For now, uh, from me and the boys, uh, Ryan, you're awesome. PZ, all the best, pal. Uh, you're a freaking legend. To Algeria. And happy birthday, bro. Yeah, well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. He's a CA. It's a lifestyle. To Algeria's players, you deserve to walk home. Uh, to Côte d'Ivoire, congratulations. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the knockout. Uh, to you at home, thank you so much. Um, remember to like, share, subscribe right here on TikTok and across the board. We're on other platforms. You know what other platforms are. Join us. The MKT Show is available, by the way, on wherever you get your podcast. The MKT Show for now is out.